Yo! How's it going, folks? Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Who's ready for more stress? We can't, we can't even go, like, two sentences without just, like, screaming internally. Hey, folks. How y'all doing? Is this the second stream? Yeah, we're, we're picking up from where we left off. So you guys have the highlights uh, up on YouTube. If you have seen them, then you are all up to date. So don't worry there. Yeah, how, how's everyone doing? Hey, Jill, on Tuesday, Dan? I just felt a bit sick. Sometimes I just feel sick. That long cylinder on the intro, by the way. Uh, that cylinder is actually uh, Dublin City's crown and monument of the city. Uh, that is Dublin Spire. It's really shish. <laughs> Was the internet present stream footage archived? Yeah, I, I, ta I talked about that on the Discord. Um, just for people wondering. Th there was a stream yesterday. Um, Daniel made a mistake while he was trying to export it to YouTube and Brain was on autopilot and just, like, deleted it. <laughs> the buttons are very close to each other and I just wasn't thinking. Um, but I do have a local recording, so I might be able to get it up at some point. Uh, but yeah, whoops, so apologies there. But it should be all right. Worst stream, he hated it that much. So like, get rid of it. Set it into the void. No, no, uh, I, I just actually, I just made a little mistake. Uh, so apologies there, you did not wildly hallucinate that stream. Uh, and I'll, I'll see if I can get it up at some point. It should be possible, honestly. It just takes a bit longer. 
I, I redid my uh, my Pokemon tweet from that stream too. I, I was I did just didn't I wasn't okay with it. You know, a, a very important discussion on favorite Pokemon. I, I saw, I got up this morning, it's like, right, I have to do this. Like, this is my work today. I'm not okay with this. We, we, have, we have a new one here. I'll, I'll, I'll even show this, because well, we're, we're just, like, waiting for people to get here. Ah, uh, we're just, we're just sitting tight, Mo. Uh, let me see. Dave the Diver is here. He will be playing it, so don't worry. We we redid this chart uh, from yesterday uh, because I, I I honestly just felt in retrospect there was just way too many blanks. <laughs> so it's like okay, I'm gonna choose like a few more. Omg, he likes Pokemon. Yes, yeah, so we we redid the chart a bit. Uh, there's some notable inclusions specifically of bug types. Uh, Gen 6 is now the only other generation, apart from Gen 5, that had a full line of favorites. Sim purely because I love the Mega Evolution. I love Mega Evolutions as, like, a concept and a mechanic. So that, like, fleshed it out massively. Uh, Mega Pincers on there, because Mega Pincers are really cool. I love how it just gave, like, old Pokemon that were kind of useless a chance in the spotlight. Scammery fans dying. <laughs> yeah, I kind of went through categories as well, and it's like, what's just my objective favorite in there? Given the option. Or, like, what's close to contender? So, Scammery just got, like, annihilated by Scissor. Tyranitar took two at the bottom, too. What is this banger music? This is Dave the Diver. Can you guys hear me okay? The audio's not too loud or anything. Uh, background music's fine. I think I have actually done a mistake. Get, no, volume mixer is where it should be. Eh. No, that's wrong. Hang on. Oh god, what have I done? Here we go. Eh. Here we go. Better size and we'll just give people a chance, like it will be like three minutes, three, five minutes before we get going. Can't believe I can't see Zuru anymore. Uh, he's in there. Uh, the Hisuian one is just cooler, so I just put him in. He's like my favorite, like, of any regional. He's there. Uh, the sheep spot is still hotly contested between Mareep and Wulu, by the way. So don't worry there. Is this from where you left off in the video? Yes, it is. Thanks everyone at Subin too. Thank you for the hype train, folks. Favorite Spinda. Yeah, I gotta update it. Favorite Spinda. Like, oh shit. New Spinda. Preference dropped. But yeah, I, I, I'm much happier with this one. I gave this one the like favorite star to Cyndaquil as well. I don't know if you can see my mouse cursor. Uh, you might be able to. I gave that to Cyndaquil in the end. Because he was my first one. Shout out to, like, Legends Arceus for, like, almost having the complete trio here. Victini just kind of smuggling a spot here. Dan doesn't want to have to choose his favorite sheep. That's like choosing his favorite child. It's true. No, I, that, that's honestly how it feels. So I, I'm not choosing between them. For the team spot, I put Wulu on the bench. Because, of course, this is very important. Samurott and Oshawott has had a huge redemption <laughs> in general. Like, no joke. He, he's come a long way. Why is there a Mega Charizard in your list? Because Mega Charizard Y is actually really cool. Both the Mega Charizards are actually really cool. They kind of fix problems with Charizard. This, like, the Y form is just more interesting because Sun. The X form actually makes him a dragon, which fixes the fucking Pokemon, in my opinion. Because that's like, that's like a huge point of contention. He's not a dragon. Whereas this fucking apple is. Like, remember. Not a dragon. Dragon. Like, it just doesn't, it just doesn't rest well. It doesn't sit right. Ah, oh, 
God, clip it. He likes Charizard. <laughs> oh, God. There's a bit of like a Taffy sweep in these ranks, too. Let's look at Taffy go. Not take this Aphlid slander. The blanks this time are ones where it's just, I just really couldn't think of any that I liked. Like the Gen 1 fighting types, like Polyrat, Machamp, Hitmonchan, and Hitmonlee. It's like, eh. I'm not really crazy about any of them. I, there are some of them as well where I just didn't want to do it. Like the only ghost type in Gen 2 is Mischievous. That's literally it. So like that just feels like cheating to put that in. The only dragon type I think was Kingdra, which is like, eh. Kingdra's okay. Some gen choices are just not great. No, they're not. The most hotly contested one was the gen 5 spots. I think like almost all of them there have other ones that would have been considered. It's very close on a lot of gen 5 ones. Thanks for the free Twitter advertisement. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. No electric for Gen 8? Um, I just wasn't feeling it. Like, Toxitricity was the one in the spotlight, and it's like, eh. Eh. You know, like. Okay, let me uh, gear on up here. Okay, we'll get closer to the day of the dive. We'll start, we'll start in two minutes. Just give people a chance to hop in. You're all very welcome to the stream. I hugely enjoyed this game uh, the other day when we played it. It just has a lot of charm. So we're going to play it some more because I'm intrigued. Uh, we'll go fairly not long today, like about four or five hours again. Is there a link to that Pokemon chat? I if you check my Twitter and it's like linked there somewhere. People have already replied with the link. Um, so just, just go have a little look. You'll find it. You know, if you played a full game? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm enjoying it so far. I'm not really thinking that far ahead. But I enjoyed it enough to be playing it again today. I got all you can eat sushi after that stream, and it was delicious. I'm glad. <laughs> I've kind of had sushi on the brain, too. It makes it look very nice. Oh, God. Yeah, th thanks everyone for hopping in. I uh, would pick it up from where we left off. Um, so, potential spoilers if you didn't see the YouTube highlights. Uh, let's get going. Local Irishman destabilizes shark population. Yeah, we're just back. It's another day for Dave. The sharks have it coming. We need to clean up this ocean. Clean in the in the mafia sense, you know. Uh, what do I need for the VIP as well? No, I already got the VIP stuff. Dave, Dave is on top of his game. How much money do I have? First business of the day. Not a lot. We're gonna have to fix that. I just have to go deeper. This is affecting the trout population, probably. Any junk I can sell? It's so hard to tell, like, what I'm going to need to hang on to. Like, it can be used for crafting weapons, can be used for weapon enhancement. I feel like I just kind of keep it all until something says, you, you can just sell it. Let's just hang on to it. We're going to make enough money on the sushi as is. Let's go in. Into the deep. So we're just, go we're just going straight down. Unless, you know, we find some sharks along the way. Oh. Oh, is this the guy with the grenade launcher? Oh no, no, this is this is the environmentalist. Wait. So it was you. What has been arm in the ocean? You vomit, you disgusting creature. Wait, it wasn't me that No time for your petty excuses. I even caught my John Watson of Sea Blue. Cardiers of the sea you won't be leaving so easily. 
turn you into fish food. He's gonna, he's gonna kill us. He's gonna take out a gun. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Several fish are dead. Oh my Poseidon, it's all your fault. You did this in a precious sea. I just catch a few fish to keep the restaurant running. I just look into fishing vessels responsible for catching thousands of fish, not individual divers like me. Yup, it's true. The flavin, I'll shut that yapper of yours. Here goes. Okay, Dave, take out your gun. <laughs> it's just a boss. Defeat John Watson. Come on, Dave. This may affect the trout population. <laughs> okay, I think, I think he's at least severely injured. He just punched Dave in the face. The day you fight back against me, John Watson, formerly of the Navy SEALs. Oh! Let you serve as an adequate warning, so I'll back away now to protect the environment, but... You just damaged the environment. You just destroyed... Okay, there he goes. Pad is opened up in the direction of John Watson's escape. Go that way to reach the signal. Yeah, we're, we're pretty badly hurt to start off the day. I've lost a lot of oxygen. Let me just get some bullets back. Uh, gun enhancement. Damages environment to protect it. Logic go burr. Essentially. Is this gonna be like a fast track down? Like I, I I just need to keep going down today. Uh, over here. Kind of praying for some for an oxygen tank somewhere. Please, please have one here. Gonna be in trouble otherwise. I mean, that helps. Oh, right, uh, quick. Okay, quick, quick diversion. Excuse me. Oh, perfect. There's oxygen there. <laughs> First shark of the day. Shark has been spotted. God, we love sharks. Glad to be here. <laughs> it's the first of many. Ooh. Grab this. Okay, he's just gonna sit tight a moment. Go further in. Nor in everything that we can. You're affecting the shark population. We are. Absolutely. This is still normal depth, isn't it? So I, I probably just want to take this. Oh, hang on. Shark, shark spot it. Get some more sushi for dinner. Uh, we need some more bullets. Okay, this isn't a way down. He's going American. <laughs> it still freaks me out being here if I'm like in Walmart. And it's like, yeah, here's just like the gun aisle. <laughs> it's like, what? I just came in to get, like, some paper towel.
It's a bit scary. Oh, speaking of a bit scary, here we go. Uh, UV light. It's two, two worms hide. I don't know if I want to take that yet. Oh, the fish are a little mean looking now. The fish are a bit stronger as well. A fang to rank five. Oh. Okay, well, there's got to be some sharks down here. Probably going to need some of these for some collectathon quest. Riddle starfish. Need the orange ones. They're giving more UV lights. Can I go in here? The worms are blocking my path. What do I do? Oh, this is the UV light. Okay. But this is what it wants me to use. This guy just needs to get out of my face. Come on. Can you hear the keyboard? <laughs> the two worms will shrink away from the UV light, allowing you to pass. Find a UV light in a nearby chest. Now find one, maybe try the melee attack. Alright. God, you don't get much of that. Because it really slows you down, too. Keyboard's not gonna last much longer. <laughs> oh, the light recharges. Okay. Well, that's good. The sea people from before. It's okay. I'm just hanging out. Saying something, I can't tell what they're saying. I'll have to call Dr. Bacon. My goodness, wow. The sea people were real, it's simply incredible. He's saying something to me, but I can't understand him. Analyzing the patterns might allow us to translate. Back to the boat for now, I'll try and think of a way to translate. Okay, hello, friends. I didn't recharge in the beta, you, need, you needed to get a new UV flashlight every time it ran out. That sounds horrendous. Oh god. Like Dave's not heard of batteries in the beta. There we go. Going deeper if we can. New resources everywhere. A pickaxe. The minerals can only be mined with a pickaxe. Why valuable mineral? Your pickaxe and upgrade your weapons. Okay. Ow. Actual mining underway. He's on Y equals 15. Gotta be something good down here. Fine addition to our sushi. How, did, how are the gems gonna help us? How's the rubber chicken gonna help us? I, I think I wanna keep the pickaxe. <laughs> I think of the two, this may be more beneficial. It does more damage than the pickaxe. Yeah, but I need the pickaxe to mine, like, precious minerals. Keep going. Oh, God. 
god, this could be bad. Come on. Whew. We must go deeper. The bottom of the ocean. Underwater scooter. Swap it out, might as well. We're gonna get our minerals while we're here. Minerals and sharks. That's what we're about now. <laughs> the nether. <laughs> it's not Minecraft, guys. Oh, God. You're mean looking. New shark has been unlocked. New big boy fish. Frilled shark. This is level seven. Supremely, thank you for the tier three. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Summon. There's a lot of them today. Thank you very much, guys. It's good to have you here. Level up that sushi. Oh, I will. Sesame seed. Just a weapon fragment. We must continue. I, I, I need to try and source some oxygen soon. I real I'm going a very deep now. See people building the doors locked. Oh god. Run Dave! Okay, there's a clam there. There's a shark over there too. Oh god, it's a big one. Fight him off. Pretty strong with the poison tip on that. Rank six jelly. Did they re did I respawn? No, that one despawned. That's only level one. We don't want that. Okay, we're over encumbered slightly. It's probably these jellyfish. Let's just toss them. Oh, actually, oh, I caught some earlier fish, didn't I, too? I got the fang toots. It's a weird way of saying a shark. We only take shark home. Yeah, there's a big boy here. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah, come on, Dave. Think of the sushi. <laughs> oh my god! He just pulls you in. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. <laughs> That's a big boy. That's a mega mount shark. <laughs> Clean hitless. Dave the Dark, any percent. No damage run. I thought that was a pearl for some reason. Is there anything else I can toss? Pro probably all this shite. I think I'll just collect this when I have like a specific quest saying, hey, you need to grab it.
We're going to be a bit over encumbered here. Sea snake whip? Oh, we got to try that. Sesame seeds. God knows they're they're incredibly rare. We must go deeper. <laughs> okay, there's a giant crab. See this lad. not interested. Not having it. There's a path there, but it seems to be blocked right now. It's a way out at least. The rocks, are they? back. How much deeper can we go? Oxygen here. What's my depth limit? <laughs> I can't even remember. I should know this. I feel like I'm gonna hit it soon. Come on, Dave. Quick as you can. Quick as you can. Swip, 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 swip. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not good. We must go deeper. I don't like how open this space is. He has a small shark there. Isn't that a crab boy? Two hundred and thirty is my max death, is it? Okay. So I, I really can't go any further. I'm like at the limit. <laughs> yeah, there's an escape pod there. Do you think I maybe take it? I might need to head back soon. But there could be another shark over here. Critical depth. Could be something. I can still carry more shark. Parabellum, thank you for 100 bits. Hey, I teach. Don't say my history professor looks like you. Also, don't reenact your house. <laughs> thank you. And stop. You can go again later. No, I gotta go deeper. There could be something over here. Don't know. <laughs> we can make two times, like, please. Please, God, go back. <laughs> there could be more. We are the explorers. We are the pioneers. Icarus is at it again. Dave dove too close. Good to see. Okay, I'm, I'm at complete max capacity. All right, let's 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 bring Dave home. Let's bring him home. Reverse Icarus. 
He's as far away from the sun as could possibly be. What if there's something good in that cooking pot, though? Excuse me. Need the soy sauce. And the dwarves mined too deep and they died. But that's the problem! They were mining! We're diving, there's a difference. Some of that. The dwarves were wusses. I've not heard like wuss as an insult in a while. That's like, that's like, um, that is just like playground. You're a big meanie kind of insult. Wait. Okay, I know we're at a critical depth, but I was just curious. Everything's kind of collapsed here. Okay, let's, let's call an escape pod. Let's get, let's get Dave home. This is alarmingly deep. Gotta be a lot of shark here. I did expect the sea people civilization to be real, but to think they are they are living sea people. Truly, really the find of a century. This is thanks to you, Dave. Have some olive oil. <laughs> it's like the weirdest rewards. No well, matter we were talking about some runes, but they, these are living sea people. Poachers are bound to show up. Start hunting the sea people, since that'll be a way to get a lot of attention. Good point there. But we first make a translator to analyze their sound waves and figure out what they're saying. They have something to tell us. We need to see people's stone tablet with their writing on it. There's a microphone and an amethyst. Okay, I, I have one of those. The microphone should be below the sunken ship, and the stone tablet is likely to be in the record chamber. Here you can mine amethyst at 100 meters of deep with a pickaxe. Okay, so it's the sunken ship, and that chamber I saw before? I think I know where that all is. The olive price of olive oil is through the roof these days. It is. Oh, look at this. This 95 a piece. It's not even upgraded yet. Oh, Ash is here as well with us. Yeah, we. Oh, boss card acquisition notification pop up on your marine marine card count. <laughs> It's this giant squid boss card. Mm. How'd you get this? It's such a rare card. Mm. No way to pick up a delivery. It has a chance to have it. Love. Okay, I don't have a clue what that means, but in any case, you've made amazing progress. <laughs> By collecting all the rare boss cards. Something good's sure to happen. Love. You want to venture the new regions. For example, the depths. The automatic marine card AI system will unlock a new card pack. <laughs> oh, it really is just Pokemon cards. <laughs> don't forget to collect fish cards in the new regions as well. <laughs> Goodbye then, Choo Choo. <laughs> I can, I can get trading card packs. Enter a new region, open up a new card pack list, use the marine card app to check on new fish. Everyone wants Dave's attention. <laughs> Introduce myself first. I'm a reporter for the magazine Weekly Fish. The name is Udo. <laughs> Read that magazine too. It covers unique fish species. <gasps> yeah. Heard the blue hole is home to a variety of fish species. Is that true? <laughs> okay, well, well, what's going on, Udo? He wants to take pictures. <laughs> Oh, he wants shark pictures. <laughs> the reader of Weekly Fish, you will get a feel for what kind of fish to photograph. What's the reward? You can take a nice picture. <laughs> okay, let's get let's get get a shark. Take pictures of living sea creatures at a photo spot. Take your pictures to Udo to claim rewards. Okay, sure. That, that's a lot of objectives. Got so much like responsibility. <laughs> Pictures of dead sharks valid. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've had all these corpses. <laughs> Nintendo, thanks for 290 bits earlier. Time for another fun shark fact. Uh, goblin sharks are one of my favorite animals due to the fact they can shoot their jaws out of their mouths. 
Much like Xenomorphs from the Alien series, they can shoot their jaws out at a speed of 3.1 meters a second. They're truly alien. That sounds absolutely terrifying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that, is, that is really scary. Okay. Alright, um... How are we doing on Cookster as well? Uh, I, I got I gotta rank up in a little bit. I'll, I'll I'll hop back soon for that. These are all our progress on fish. These are all low just because we only catch in sharks. Well, I don't remember these guys. That's a big shark. He's in the shallows, really. He's not even that deep down. Oh god. Okay, some of these are quite scary looking. There's a lot of fearsome creatures down there. Okay, I need a sh shipwreck interior and the sea people record chamber. Gotta catch all the sharks. That's my only goal. Like, I don't even care about the fish. It's just sharks. Okay, the shipwreck was down the bottom left. The runes were on the bottom right. We just gotta go get them both. Miso. Grab some of that. See what the game gives us. This one is so good. Yeah, it says that that one's just in the shallows. Like, that, that is kind of terrifying, isn't it? Those are some giant ass sharks. He's gonna be in this space eventually. Come on, get out of the way. Morning. Bring him in. Speaking of sharks. <laughs> it's just another day for Dave. Poison could not be good for the meat. That's oh, basically just flavor. You know, we're just making it spicy. Oh god, that's a weird one. <laughs> Not quite a shark. I may have to catch him because he was going to catch me otherwise. It's the secret sauce. But it's like, it's like it's, spice is basically out just trying to kill you, you know? You think about it, really. That's why it's like attacking your throat and that. You know, the poison is basically just making it spicy. It's a white man moment. <laughs> uh, I gotta go in here for the part, do I? He's scared of basil. No, I'm not. No, I'm talking about like spicy, spicy. You know, like 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 hot spices, hot sauce and stuff. Jalapenos. You know, like proper like. Oh God, that's a bit much. You know, like spicy pepper. Intercom microphone. <laughs> Not oh, like bell peppers. No, no, not bell peppers. <laughs> you, you guys know what I mean. He hates 
vegetable. <laughs> Cat food. They give it to Momo. Oh shit. Important collectible. There's a now a cat quest unlocked. There's so many things to do. I think we've made our choice with sharks already. I, I, I know which quest I'm pursuing. Is nothing else really over here? That looks like a landmark or something. Looks like there might be a tunnel out or something there. Grab that. Dan finds cereal spicy. <laughs> Actually, I I I can't do cereal. No, it's it's too much for me. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not a cereal person. Yeah, like, it, it's it's not that it's too spicy, but like it like uh, really upsets my stomach for some reason. I don't know what it is. I think it's like a texture thing. It spices his tongue. <laughs> Might just be lactose. No, I'm, that's the, I'm, it's not just lactose. That's the thing. It's not. Like, I, my, my stomach is like really weird and sensitive to certain things. And I've been tested for a few things, but there's no real rhyme or reason for what might be doing it. But cereal is one where I just can't do it. Like I just, I just feel weird. Oh. It's gonna be it's gonna be tricky to get this lad. Get him out of the way. <laughs> oh my god, he's a bit close. He's a bit close! down. Okay, I need to get the the tablet from the other end. Take a photo. I haven't seen like a photo spot. Let me pick up that skull. I need to get over to the right, I think, next. Whatever we can. We should probably take the oxygen. What did the sharks do to you? <laughs> they just made themselves to be like the, the elite enemies in this game. And I, I've taken that personally for whatever reason. And I just gotta go. Tennis racket. Strong knockback. Okay. Let's try it. <laughs> Be him down. Actually sends the flying. <laughs> Actual tennis ball fish. Send him away. I, I need I need to go up a bit. Up and around. Nature's tennis ball. I could try I could try catch some fish whole. But I need this for the sharks. Weight is pretty bad right now. Um let me just see if there's anything I can drop. 
There's not a shark. Here we go. Wait, what inventory? We're working on the inventory, right? Where, where was this door? This, this is like the deeper depths, isn't it? Yeah. So we don't want to go that far down. There's no inventory. There's only shark. Because I keep loading up on sharks too, like I'm running out of space. They're, they're very heavy. I don't know if you ever had to carry like three shark carcasses. We need the orange starfish for the quest. I keep forgetting. Hop in here. Sea People Stone Tablet. That's it's very convenient that it's just right here. Drop that back to Dr. Bacon. Anything else in here? Not as of right now. It does feel like something's about to come out and horrifically attack me in this room. Honestly, I'm thinking the nature people are in the right because of all the dead sharks in the water. And there's, like, this guy just keeps killing them. He's serving sushi covered in poison. Let me go deeper and see if I can get another shark. One more. There's an escape uh, hatch there. Dave is the villain. <laughs> Can you find the boss shark? I don't know. There, there might be some like storied sequence that leads to him. The only thing I can think of for a boss. I think those ones are going to be harder to unlock and not just like out in the wild. Nope. Actually, I don't. I don't need that much oxygen. I'm not. How long am I going to be here? Gotta cop back at some time. Might need the UV. Right, get out of here. Ugh. Okay, we're looking for an additional shark. I don't think it's down there. I think that was like the chamber we were in before. go this way. Come on, Dave. Okay, it's not a shark, but that's a big fish. I don't know if I can get him. Takio, thank you for 100 bits. D you, you think Dave will be losing weight at a considerable rate with his daily activities? He eats a lot of sushi. <laughs> oh, it, it also, it could just be all muscle here. He has, he has like fought off like a shark trying to bite him single handedly. It's peak physical condition. That's an Opa. It's like a sunfish. This is the first time I've seen one in person. Maybe I'll take a picture as a souvenir. Oh, okay, so I have to wait for him to come into the shop. That's pretty good. Capture two at once. Ah, oh, come on! The impression is here. I'm just gonna take it.
I'm not arsed. If it was a shark, I might have done it again. One and three quarters. It's pretty good. I need to take that, I think just for fashion or something. I want to keep my gun. We must go deeper. Dave hungers for sushi. It's gotta be something. There's signs pointing the way here. Oh, what's that? That's not a shark though. Let me just see what happens if I kill it. I'm just curious. He, he is he is trying to kill us now. Not a shark, but we'll we'll allow it. Just this once. Keep going though, we might be able to get a bit more shark on us. Purple starfish. Strong shovel. <laughs> Just gonna hit them with this. He was beautiful and you killed him. Doors are closed down here. Give me the salt. Basically shovel knight with this, yeah. Does a lot of damage though. I'm not seeing any more. And you're gonna sink with all this extra weight. Be fine. Come on, Dave. Cannot sink if you're at the bottom. <laughs> but, <sighs> your logic's not wrong. However, <laughs> so wait, is wait, wait, wait. Is that a shark? Is that a shark? Oh, that's a shark. Yeah, let's get him. Doing a sneaky on him. We're doing a sneaky! <laughs> Come on, Dave. Okay, Dave. <laughs> we need to move faster. The emergency pod is there. Uh, the crab is on me now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Gotta get the angle right. Come on. We're all right. Oh, that was that was dangerous. It's okay though. We got our extra shark. 
PC kilos home. Okay, Dave, it's time to go home. I can use the shovel to descend a little faster. <laughs> Dig our way down. Kill the crab. I don't know how to get the crab yet. He's all powerful. Jesus. Kedrian, thank you for the five quid. Hey Dan, feeling a bit sick recently and stressed from your over encumbered adventures have definitely made it worse. <laughs> 10 out of 10, buddy. Keep up the top notch work and thanks for the great content. Oh no, I'm, so, I'm sorry to hear it. <laughs> made it worse. I'm even more sick than I was before since I started watching. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Kedrian. Get well soon. Get well soon. <sighs> ah. Yeah, I got everything. Make your translator. Mission complete. Can finally produce a small net gun, too. So much shark. I brought a picture. You know, the fish is warm blooded. Amazing that some fish species are warm blooded. The ocean is full of mysteries. But you picture the good use? I'm sure the readers will love it. Oh, you just get straight money for that, too. That's cool. Oh, here's the applicants as well, because we put out the ad before. It said we would get them of a higher level. These are all level one. <laughs> okay. Well, let's let's see let's see what staff we can get. One hand, Ryan. Thank you for 100 bits. People think orcas and sharks are the apex predators, but it is Dave. Dave and his poison gun. <laughs> Simon, thank you for 100 as well. Can the planks be blown away? I don't know. Oh, we have, Vincent's still here. There are TV shows going. Here's your jellyfish sushi. Jellyfish, you mean like in the Chinese cold vegetables? You think you could win the acknowledgement of Vincent Ya- Yamaoka while ignoring the traditional ingredients? No way. Would you rather have some shark? It's the only other thing on the menu. Yeah, here you go. He is putting everything into this. Um, I'll, let, let me serve you in a, I gotta go through the paper first, hang on. Add staff. Hire staff. <laughs> James, what's going on with James? Okay, but James can really cook. Which is what we need. So let's hire him. There you go, James. And Billy can really serve. If we let Kyoko go... And hire her and uh, hire them instead. But Kyoko is level three. I, I think I want to train James too. If I oh I can't afford it yet. I have no money. Yeah, I, I have no okay. I have no money to like hire someone else. Okay. Uh, let me just set up the menu real quick. Hang on. Research, there's nothing to research. Menu. I gotta, I gotta enhance this even further. I, I was actually gonna use 15 sushi. <laughs> Is that even worth it? <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot. 
Enhance this one. <laughs> what have you done to my friends? <laughs> oh god. That's horrific. Yeah, like, do we just- okay, do we just say fuck it and enhance it off? Better jellyfish. Okay, this one requires 22 to make it better. But I, I have so much. Enhance it. I have so much. I think I'm just gonna get enough resources that I can afford to just keep enhancing. Doing it. 180 a piece for that. 180. Oh my god. They put one of them on the menu. Put one of them. <laughs> this one requires 34 to enhance to the next level. Jesus. Pick your shark. We're not serving vegetables, it's just shark today. If we're using our sharp shark heads, we might as well. I wish it just auto supplied by default. It's like a weird thing to just set up. Wait, add ingredients? Add ingredients, add ingredients, add ingredients. Oh no, I, I don't need to do that. Yeah, because it's auto supply. Okay. Mom, can I have veggies? No, now eat your shark or no TV. <laughs> Drawing a sex for 100 bits. I asked James about his mask. He says his face got bitten off by a shark. He wants to work here for the sake of revenge. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's uh, serve this specialty cuisine. This is jellyfish. The flesh is transparent. The white dots are pretty as well. Hey, with bunch with bunch of rice, you should have made it sure it doesn't scatter by making gunk and mackey instead. <laughs> Dry up, hurry up and eat it. It's already been seasoned. Mm -hmm. I can't possibly taste good, but since it's for the program, I'll try it. Always oh, having a moment. Whoa. Vincent, the look in your face. Whoa. This is amazing. I can taste the sea as soon as I bite into it, and the jellyfish is nice and firm. Whoa. I taste something popping inside. Whoa. Could it be the flying fish row? Wait, they're bigger than that. Caviar! No, that would have killed the jellyfish flavor. Could it be? Yeah, I added some sea grape below the jellyfish. <laughs> Firm jellyfish flesh and sea grape, huh? Oh. This is the sea. I taste the sea. The sea where the sea kelp sway. Mm. <laughs> He's getting really into it. Can't help but admit it. The sushi is amazing based on a very deep understanding of the ingredients. Mm. Why is it he use such unknown ingredients instead of the proven ones? <laughs> First taste, reason is the taste. <laughs> jellyfish has a gentle, mild taste with strong texture, making it a perfect match for the scent and flavor of sea grape. <laughs> The second reason is potential. There are so many kinds of ingredients out there. Insisting on using only the verified few is the same as ignoring the infinite possibilities. Thank you for those amazing words, Pancho. And it's time for the evaluation, Vincent. To, to see! The sea! <laughs> this is the jellyfish sushi that made Vincent marvel. 
And Mr. Boncho created the dish. Fish, what will the score be? 80 points. Not too low, you look quite impressed while eating. And the sushi was excellent. This establishment lacks something, though. Ooh. Eating combines many enjoyments. I think you'd only offer green tea with this beautiful ocean in front of us. Romance. This place doesn't have enough romance and appreciation for the arts. So I'll give this place 80 points as a side reward. However, I'll give you a refrigerator. Okay. Be able to drink cold beer from that fridge would make the score 100. It'll be perfect. Here's this fridge I brought along earlier. <laughs> Thanks? I guess. Sure. A thousand go! <gasps> New content! Beer! <laughs> Customers would ask us to order beer after their meal. Order them their drinks and create additional revenue. I found you amazing that P Picky Vincent acknowledged you. I just not lie. It says a point. Shall we try selling beer from now on? Okay. Billy is ready. Well, James is ready to go in the kitchen. Uh, okay. Menu? Beer is 30 if they order it. Oh. Okay, uh, well, with the extra money, what I can do is I can now train them. Let's quickly train James up a bit. I can level up on Cookster as well. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. What is happening? You got 50 followers on Twitter? Like somebody call the staff. We need to approve this person. Silver acquired. New recipes added. That's a lot of new unlocks. Oh, I get a new servant staff now too. That's amazing. I, I think I can just hire that staff instantly. I, I just have a slot now. Uh, hire. We can bring Billy on. There we go. So I need to unlock extra skills for him. I want him to be able to serve drinks in particular. If I can get it. Um, train in for Billy. If I train him twice, Billy's gonna be like the best server that ever was. Train him again. Tip master, he always gets tips. I don't have enough for that. Cooking ability increases permanently with that one. Okay, we're almost there. Be able to get more soon. There's new research. I, I have so many of these. I, oh, I can't actually get them all. There's, not, there's nothing with shark here. Do I even want these? I'm not even going to be making these meals. Get one just to see the animation if there's something new. I love the animations. They're always so good. Game goes hard with the art. The, the, the art style is wonderful. It's so charming. Okay. No shark though there, yeah. Okay, let's open for the day. We have two servers now. And Billy in the kitchen. This, this should be a lot more efficient. I had a new menu slot as well. I forgot to assign it. I think I, could, I can quickly do it now. Um, slap this on. Okay, get to work, my staff. I'm gonna let them just take the helm on this. Wait, wait. Deliver it. Oh, look at them go. Oh. 
That is going to be our most profitable day, day, day yet by far. This, we're going to make a huge amount of money today. Oh, I keep running out of wasabi. I've done this before. Grind fill the wasabi before it runs out. This is why everyone was yelling wasabi before. I think this is the first time I noticed it. Clean up a bit. <laughs> Keep serving them drinks. Keep serving them drinks. It's so efficient now. Oh my god, it's doing amazing. Dave just has to focus on cleaning. Look at them go. Everyone got served so much in tips. 3,000. We made so much. The profits just keep going up. <laughs> like it's nearly double every time. That's so good. It's exponential growth. The graph must go higher. This is what our investors want. Girl, thanks for 500 bits. Is the beer also made of sharks? Probably. Tried to do it alone, but it was too tough. We got a bit of help from Duff. Thanks for his help. We can now translate your words into the sea people's language as well. Oh, let's see what they have to say, yeah. Uh... This is how you business. Oh, Duff's here as well. What is it? I spent some quality time with Lay's chat and did some quiet thinking. I realized that paying people back for help received was what a noble master would do. Tell me, Dave, are you satisfied with your guns? Uh, they're fine. It'd be nice if they were stronger, though. Ha! I guess it's time I stepped into the spotlight, so to speak. I'll help you enhance your guns. Handsome, how do you do that? It's about making them stronger or imbuing elements like poison or electricity. There's one thing you need to remember though only guns that have been created can be enhanced. I speak at the risk of sounding obvious, you could say. Oh, I see, gun enhancement, that's, that's pretty useful. Duff, you're a cooler person now. What are you saying? I'm just trying to be the best master I can for Lay's Chad. I think I provided an adequate explanation. It's back to the world of the pixies for me. Goodbye, Eternity. You now enhance your guns at Duff's weapon shop. Collect various materials and gun fragments to make your weapons more powerful. Sure. Oh, Cooksta is popping off. We got a silver trophy. We have been recognized. Everything is. T oh, I forgot to feed Momo. I'll feed Momo tomorrow. We're almost there. Our taste is through the roof. Okay, um, not enough materials. I need more rope. Okay, um, we must go deeper. Absolutely necessary. I want to get the shark harpoon gun as well, but I also probably should invest. Uh, no, don't ignore the air. This is perfect. I don't think I even want to upgrade this anymore. Dra oh, that is a dragonite. The dragon bite harpoon gun. The shark <laughs> Oh, God. Time to kill a shark with a shark. Yeah, yeah we do need more cargo. Um, ending on the ecosystem. We just, we still haven't caught these starfish. <laughs> I'm not going to be getting these rewards uh, too often.
More trade and carried progress. Uh, where is the management app? Is there anything I need to do here? Cooking ingredients owned. Staff. I, I, I need to train them up. I'll train them up at the end of the day. They sp go to speak to the sea people. There we go. Sell stuff from Cobra. I, I don't really need to buy anything off them. I just want to keep the money. I need to reinvest in the business. Okay. All the way down. Uh, I need rope as well, specifically this time, don't I? To make the net gun. I don't think I can use it on the shark. I'd be surprised. Wait, you can now disassemble guns, harpoon tips, and other weapons. Use the weapon fragments acquired from disassemble to request stuff to enhance your weapons. Sure. Look at this. It looks so cool. Grab everything we can. Extra cat food acquired. You can upgrade the net to be bigger. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm like maybe you can capture a shark if it's injured or something. What's the hope? This is a strange coral. That's an octopus. Get him, Dave. Think of the sushi. I was afraid of ink. Just wait till I catch you. Here I come. Oh, you can't you can't just instantly catch him. He's making a getaway. Oh, it's just a new area here. He's showing us where to go. I escaped through a door crack. I don't think I can fit in there. I'm thinking I could probably use the gas cutter from Duff to cut my way in. This isn't going to be like there's an incredibly dangerous enemy again, is there? Okay. Stay in the circle. I hired just because I don't have a lot of desk space. So I gotta be real careful how far I move my mouse. I am now pushing away like a cup on my desk. Gotta keep pushing it. Don't fall off the table now. We're good, we're good. <laughs> Go to a new region. Desk tidy stream when... Uh, desk here probably needs a bit of a tidy. I have like random assortment of just stuff in it. Is the cup safe? I guess I'll have octopus sashimi for dinner. There might be new sharks in here. Escaped again so quick. Drop some. It's the octopus cave. The octopus bracelet has been acquired. Sure. Here's like a bit of oxygen too. What has Dave got against his octopus? Well, it's sprayed him with ink. So naturally he wants to kill him and his, his entire family. Serve him a sushi. Dave is a vengeful man. <laughs> now we, we we need to go down further. 
We need to get to that outpost. And also, we need sharks with a brand new gun. We are now equipped for the job. It's arguably easier now than using the gun. <laughs> Because the harpoon's so strong. This game really said chill beats to kill sharks. <laughs> Relaxing common beats to kill a shark. And finally, the music for me. escape points here. Try be getting the scrap iron and stuff like that. I, I haven't seen any rope. That's the only one part that I actually do need. Just grab some random parts as we see them. Go up and around here. Lo-fi beats to study slash kill too. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Flask, I don't think we need that. If it's not a shark, you don't need it. It's true. I need to get more cargo. I think that'll be the next upgrade. I need to carry more sharks home. Looking for like the UV light. There's some rope. Swap that. Rope get. Was it this one here? I think it was this one where like the, the gang is hiding. I have a translator now. I'm gonna be down. I want to be down here a while. Okay. Mm. Let's try it out. Mm. Can you hear me? I oh, was a human speaking our language. Mm -hmm. Interesting creature. His body looks entirely different from that of humans we occasionally see. Mm. <laughs> Poor Dave. Mm. Any case, right? I should introduce myself. Mm. My name is Suan. Mm. Among us low dwellers. Oh, you said you call sea people, right? Mm. You say I'm bravest and coolest male among them. Mm. Suan, nice to meet you. I'm Dave. Dave, in our language, your name sounds very similar to Broken Toilet Lid. <laughs> oh no. In any case, the person lied here is the daughter of the Sea People Village Chief, Rambo. Ever since being kidnapped by a stupid giant squid, she has been unconscious. If I'd known about it a little earlier, I'd have shown that squid a thing or two. Look we'll at a big head for defeating that insignificant squid, human. I'm the one that guards Rambo. Okay, what is it? We need medicinal herbs. We need herbs to help Rambo recover. The feather coral and lily coral grow in these parts. Please make them edible and bring them to me. Find a chef to help you. Okay, so I need two types of coral. Let's pick them up while we're down here. Keep that there for now. Come back and get it. Does, does she need any shark meat? I'm real good at getting that. Get out of here. There's so much noise. Glass. We're looking for coral. Uh, here's the trusty pickaxe. Ow. Great, they're all in a 
bad spot. Um, I should probably just go back and get that oxygen in the, from the clamshell now, shouldn't I? <laughs> I, got, I got hurt real bad there. We, like, refuse to upgrade our oxygen capacity, because all we need is to be able to dive deeper and carry capacity, really, on our weapon. As long as we can find sources of oxygen, it's not a problem. Got a 108 and a free response in psychology I wrote with this in the background. Why did this help me focus so much? <laughs> You're welcome. Helping your grades. Okay, there's one. Fetter coral. Don't have room for that right now. Lightning harpoon tip. Lily coral. Oh, it's a friend. Back. Oh, I got that hurt the crab for some reason. Uh, <laughs> Is this how I get the crab? Hurt him by proximity. It's a lightning tip effect, I think. Yeah, there's no shovel. Uh, I have what I need there, so at the moment, is it just go as deep as I can and sharks? I think the objective is just sharks again. That fella's not a shark. So we're not interested in him. High quality cat food. Bring that home. The psychology assignment was not about killing sharks, sadly. <laughs> that'd be that'd be a pretty weird psychology class. I just I just wanna try something a bit different today. Let's go deeper. We can now dive to this tap too. Um, do I top up my oxygen? I think I, if I just see this, I should probably just take it. I don't know how dangerous it's gonna get. We must go deeper. There's another oxygen capsule here. Swap that out, we have that in reserve. I've only killed, I think, like two sharks today. You know, I've got, got some energy left in me. I'm not gonna be able to get through here easily. Feels like there's a way deeper there. You're lacking today. I'm trying to find him. Get away.
Come on, get away. Oh. <laughs> what? What's your problem, bud? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Get away! Don't have an issue with you. Tranquilizer rifle, let's try it. That that's not the tranquilizer rifle. Oh, he was a shark though. Okay. That, that, that's just straight up killing them. There must be another shark down here somewhere. Get out of here. Can't go any deeper, it seems. The tranquilizer gun seems to do a lot of damage, yeah. Might be a good one to have, yeah. It's, it's hard to tell what's the best. As we upgrade the harpoon, it seems like regular guns are a bit more obsolete. There's something there. I just so many jellyfish. Give us whatever this is. Opal. Okay. I don't want all these jellyfish. Cookie cutter shark. Uh, that, that's acceptable. Fang toot. Absolutely not. Make some room. Alright. How, how do I interact with this? like a hammer. Can't really go that way. And he's very protective of his box, so we're just gonna leave him be. Something in here. Go further down. Have I already been this way. I I have. Yeah, there's my gun. I need a giant hammer. <laughs> I'm not seeing any more sharks down here. I'm actually kind of surprised. This does feel like as deep as it goes right now. I'm gonna have to go home, but there's no sharks. It's not a good haul. Start grabbing whatever else I could find. They fear you. <laughs> Probably why they're in hiding. Out of the way. Uh, we're gonna just kill you because we can't find your friends. Like, uh, it's not none personal, right? <laughs> we just gotta bring something home. Gotta go. I wish I knew I was smart enough to get the crab.
I'm, I'm really not. These? No. I can't do anything with them. I can get that fish. I think that's healing him. It's gonna be a very sad journey back soon. I'm just gonna just go start going back up. See what we get. There's no reason it with crabs. Not all these locked doors as well. Just can't get through. Is it the shovel? Try it. <laughs> this might be a mistake. It is the shovel. <laughs> I use the shovel on this? No, I can't use it there. Grab everything we can. Not a crab. Get these now? No. Let's see. Well, we're going back up, so I don't think I'm going to need the UV light anymore. Um, that was a mistake. Hat right there. How are you generating this much force in water? Da Dave is a powerful man. Do not doubt him. Have I, have I already been this way? I feel like I have. No, maybe not. Okay, this is new. Poison triple axle. Grab that a moment. We're lost. They're just trying to find his way home. Out. Dave's in a spa batter again. Thank God, there's an escape pod here. I feel like we just take it because I cannot find anything else. See, whatever else I could take for a haul. Foot bone. house here. This has to be story locked. Knock, knock. Okay, let's, let's, let's get Dave home. Let's get him home. Disappointing shark call today. We, we did not do as well as we could have. We seem to be locked by story progression. Okay, seems like I got the everything the fussy half fish asked me for. Let oh, me make this coral edible, right? I have to ask Bancho for help. Let's head on back to the to the restaurant real quick. Still got, still got a lot here, supply-wise. Not our best haul, though. Use control to dash a short distance. Sure. If the octopus braces the dash short distance with left control, no oxygen is used, but the gauge needs to fill again before the ability to be reused. That's pretty good. Of 
probably want to use that. That's so good. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get to move a little faster. Like, unlocking all our abilities. They will be able to mind control enemies by the end of this game. Yeah, I gotta feed the cat. Feed. High quality cat food. Cat is happy. Can only feed him once per day. Okay, uh, I want to unlock a skill for each of them. Always get tips. Billy has been trained. Cooking skill increases permanently. It, it goes to 205. It's <laughs> insane. Like top tier chef now. He's learning good from Bancho. He is. Coming more powerful. Oh, speaking of. This co has to be prepared so it's easy to eat for sea people. I think we can start with a porridge of sorts. Give me a moment. Look at him go. Soften the coral and make it easy to eat so it should be fine. Yeah, let's take the porridge back down. The cat is the true owner of the restaurant, probably. Most likely. Okay, do you have anything for us? No, he's just telling us about mechanics. Cobra shop. I don't... I don't really want anything that he's got. This, is, this can all be used to enhance weapons and stuff. So I want to be careful with that. I didn't find any rope that time. But just one. Eco Watcher, how you doing? I've got, I've got a new one. <laughs> I'm so bad at these goals. Okay, I need to upgrade the cargo box next. 94 kilos. Important. Never mind the oxygen. <laughs> That'll be the last thing to upgrade. Equip the front of the box. I, the brace is already on, is it not? Yeah, it's already on. Fine. Okay. We're doing the maximum amount of stuff we can every single time. And every single dive. We get all the sharks. We advance the story as much as humanly possible. Oh my god. Be careful, Dave. The humpback whale. It's so big it makes the blue hole look smaller. He's massive. Where's he going? I, I, I gotta follow him. I, I'm not gonna be able to keep up with him. Buddy. Not as important as you think you are, right? Come on now. Yep. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I can use my dash now. Look at that. Look at me go. I think the whale's already gone, though. I don't know if there's a way to follow him. 
This is gonna be so good against the sharks. Uh, I've got like my role I can use. It's Dave Souls now. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, they get real scared once I realize like, I can just one shot kill him. Okay, uh, let's just discard his friend. We are not interested in. Yeah, that, that little speed boost is, is pretty much everything now, isn't it? That's actually making a huge difference over time. Hop so much faster down. Oh, I'm not supposed to be in here. Guys, please. It's down again. Is there one even here? It's in here. Dave Souls 2 Scholar of the First Dave. Yeah, that's the that's the Sea People Cave. Must go deeper. So, this is full name Dave Diver, presumably. Hop down here. Yeah, I'm disappointed by the shark variety in section two. We've not encountered a lot of them. Definitely need more. There's like these little guys. It's like who wants the who wants this on a plate? Weird looking shark. It's called over hunting. I don't even be able to find the rope I'm after. Oh, okay, all right. Well, I gotta take that complaint back. I feel like that one's not fair anymore. My guy, you killed all of them. Do you think there's like a hard limit? It's like the game just tracks how many sharks you've defeated. It's like, okay. Like, we, we, we have to have an intervention here. We need to do something else. Kronos, thank you for a thousand bits. I'm waiting for the day when Dave encounters a megalodon. <laughs> oh no. Dave against the world. Simon, thank you for 420 bits. Just saw your video today. I'm very glad you continue playing. How'd you find out about this game? Uh, the suggestions box on Discord. I, I, I always check there. Uh, it looks really fun. I'm hugely enjoying it. Okay, here's your porridge. Coral porridge. I prepared it myself. Oh, we can understand you now. We, we know what you're saying. Ooh, I feel much better now. Can't remember anything after seeing squid tentacles. A human? What is a human doing here? Well, you can say I saved you. I defeated the giant squid and brought you the coral porridge. Is that so? Wait, Ravo, that's not it. I'm actually the one who... 
All right, then human, you shall escort me back to my village. Me, why should I? Ninja lady, you need to keep anything dangerous from happening. All right, well, I could escort you to... To have you go ahead and scatter our path. If you let a human escort you, I can keep you safe and... You haven't even passed the village tactics exam. Tough enough coming here. A sore spot for me. Okay, we have... We have to carry her on our, our back. Oh no, okay, this, this is gonna be challenging for Dave. And you mind if we make a pit stop to get some sharks? But, do I just have to pick her up? <laughs> get an attack location safely arrive on your back. Grab the ability to open up two, two worm packs. Watch your surroundings carefully and escort her safely. Oh god, no, this this is gonna be tough now. I can't I can't use any other abilities while I'm, I'm holding her. Very least she auto activates these for us. Can you turn her into sushi? I don't think so. Good follow along. Make sure Rambo isn't hurt. Okay, hey, come with me. Dave is working so hard to save everyone. Keep this business alive. Like everyone, everything depends on Dave. Anyone see where where he went? He's 35 meters that way. What's this vibration? Where the experience was so strong. Something happened to the village. You must return quick. Hurry, human. Hey, you got any sharks in that village? Okay, I I don't know what I do. Okay, hang on. I got I got I got to set her down. Hang on. <laughs> I don't want her to get, like, eaten by this guy. Oh my god, that's cutting it way too close. Let's, uh, let's stop and get some shark meat along the way. Got his jawbone as well. A grenade launcher? Okay, hold... Oh, hold Q to disassemble. Oh, no, let's take the grenade launcher. So that just gives you gun parts every time you do that. Cool. The, the oxygen capsule. I don't need the UV light as long as I've got her with me. Actually, I can just use that. He's becoming John Watson. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Hang on, let me, let me set you down a moment. Excuse me, there's a box. That might be soy sauce. She does have a health bar as well, I've noticed. Very possible to fail. Hey, human, don't tell me you're tired already. Bring her carefully. No one is grateful for what Dave's doing. Maybe Bancho. Is down here, yeah. Oh God. Go, Dave. Okay, this one's friendly. Clear some stuff on the desk so I can actually see where it is. He's through here. 
I, I'm just gonna get hurt here. Like that, you you just can't avoid that. The oxygen heal you too? No. Let's keep going. It's blocked with rock. Oh, okay, so you're supposed to find it after doing this, I think. Oh no, what's going on? It's been the vibrations earlier. Oh, I'm thinking of something. I need to be back quick before my father scolds me even more. Um, maybe we can open a pad by dropping the loose rock pile over there. Topple and make it fall. It might just do the trick. Oh, okay. The stake over there. Maybe we pull it out. It'll hurt my hand with the gloves I'm wearing. I could probably do it with the gloves that are thicker and offer better grip. Hey, my apologies. I left the microphone on because I was dying to know what you were talking about. If it's enhanced diving gloves you need, I think my lab could help you out. Equipment goes hand hand with exploration, does it not? Come up to the boat. You wait here a moment. Hold it here. When you finally leave Ramo in a dangerous place like this, at least she has me gardener. Still be back quick. Was this our second dive for the day? <laughs> I'm just gonna have to leave till tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> hey, do you guys, you guys see any sharks down here? You need to stock up on some sushi. I gotta go. It's my shift is up. <laughs> I, I gotta go home. I've, I've, I've done my job for the day. Wait, let me try it. <laughs> the humane way to fish! <laughs> Grenade launcher! Okay, yeah, that, that was a shark there, at least. <laughs> uh, I just need to find an escape pod to get home. Is there anything down here? There was one by Rama. Okay, let's, uh, let's make our way back home then. Not going as far, but there doesn't seem to even be as many sharks down in the depths here. There's a significant lack of them. They're afraid of the dark. They don't like being down here, yeah. They're afraid of Dave. <laughs> I'm monitoring his movements. We need to find like the shark reef where it's just nothing but sharks. And Dave can stock up. I don't know if we're going to make as much money tonight. Okay, we need to, we need diving gloves. Get some rest, I'll explain the details tomorrow. Sure. Yeah, cause this, this is not as good of a haul. We only got like three sharks. That's disappointing. Oh, Davey, you're busy. A strange customer at the sushi bar. Come over for a moment. Okay, let's talk to the noisy customer. I don't think there's anything else I can get. Cooks to, we're a bit off ranking up still. Getting there. Dark in the menu every time is about to be a red flag to someone. 
Oh, look at this guy. Oh, little kid, we haven't opened yet. Hello, kid. Looks like a student, we haven't opened yet. Come back a bit later. Listen, you! I heard you the one time, so stop babbling. What in the world? I'm sorry, it wasn't me. You rotten blowfish, you get me food, food. What in the world is going on? You can read about this somewhere. This therapy method involves letting traumatized kids speak through th their minds through d dolls. Oh, how dare you, you idiots don't deserve to live, Jesus. This could be something more complicated. So that's what she wants first. Kambu and White Trevally Ochizuki. I want it, I do. At least some older men would want. I don't know what's going on, but we'll have to give her what she wants for us to try and have a conversation. Do, do we have the ingredients? Who's this guy as well? Otto. Not open yet, you can't come in like this. Are you straight? I was simply saying a few words. I haven't been to the beach in a while. It brings back old memories. Amazing diver before I took a harpoon in the knee. I did it. So you were a diver. I'm also a diver. You must have the diver's dream of swimming in all the seas of the world. Forests of coral. Pots of sperm whales. Fights to death with tiger sharks. Mm. This is my dish I'd really love to eat. Mm. Those are the moray eel curry at my fishing village was famous. Mm. No one wants mm. sharks. Mm. The nocturnal only come out at night. Do you have gear for night diving? You get a flashlight recently. Which is just fine. <laughs> moray eels are nocturnal. Please go night diving and catch a moray eel. To fulfill my wish. Mm. You can now dive once every night. Okay, there are many vicious nocturnal fish out at night, but you also see exotic fish. Always pay attention to the sushi bars open in hours. Wait, so if... Wait, no, this is the evening slot, is it? So I, I can do this after, is it? Did I unlock another time slot? Do, or do I have to choose? There's probably a lot of shacks. You can do it before opening, you get less time, you lose customers and money. You get less selling time. Oh no. Can I, can I just like leave them, leave them to it? I kind of want to get the sharks. Serve more a curry as well. I don't have that. I don't have the thing for. Okay, I I, I gotta I gotta go to the night fish then. I have I have to. Cronus, thank you for another thousand bits. Ben and Trillo from Ace Attorney to return. <laughs> Gonna never escape the Big Berry Circus. No, stop. Okay, so I'm just going to ignore the restaurant tonight. This this feels wrong. This feels wrong, but I I, I guess I have to. Oh, I forgot to feed the cat. Hang on. No, the cat's not here. I have to feed the cat during the day. I to get fired from your job. Go do your other job. Okay, you can only dive once at night, one third of evening working hours will be consumed. Um, that'll be fine. Let's go.
There's got to be some sharks. Oh, it's kind of it's kind of eerie at night, ain't it? Music's really different. can just disassemble this. Maybe it'll give me the parts I need to make it. I probably don't need that gun anymore, do I? Just new stuff. Come on. Box jellyfish. Apparently I have an e ecology quest to get them, too. Uh, sh shock bang stick. Oh, there's one! Hey, bud! This is gonna be a rare shark. I think, I think, I think this is the same one we've already gotten a few times over. a little more aggressive. Carve them up. I think of all the shark we can get. So, what's the one I need? A more eel? Then I need... White Trevally, kelp, and soy sauce as well. I have soy sauce. You know, white Trevally. These ones are apparently an invasive species, so I need to catch some of these. There we go. Doesn't matter if I keep them, I can just discard them after. Don't need this box jellyfish. And it's the shock harpoon. Keep on looking. Oxygen tank is really good. There's so many of these guys. Gonna just... <laughs> just beat them up. <laughs> Gonna toss them anyway. I want to see like a new shark. One that we just haven't before. Sleepy toy hammer? <laughs> uh, no, that's only got a chance. That seems real, like a bad idea. Scared them. Not interested. Give me shark. Here's the eel. There we go. Serve him up now. And there's a little bit of rope here too. Go even deeper. Let's see what's new. Do I need two eels? Will that one eel maybe serve me two pieces? One eel serves five, I think. So I think we might be okay. Maybe. 
I'll get a second one to be safe. Like, you're, you're, you're so unimportant in relation to everything else. Oh, uh, they're apparently uh, overpopulated invasive species too, though. Yeah, let's, let's clear them up. Actually, gotta get some environmental work done today. We're not even taking them for sushi, we're just killing them. Like, I don't- I, I don't want to put this on the menu. I don't want to prepare it. Yeah, you, you, you're coming with us, bud. This is a new shark? Black tip shark meat, it is. New shark acquired. Pretty good. Another eel. Need one more of you too. I love black tip reef sharks. Have you eaten one? Because <laughs> you know uh, 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 that—that's the question that has to be asked. I feel like playing this game. Oh, here's one. This guy. This is a new one too? Copper shark me, I think it is. Lots of new sharks on the menu today. Baseball bat? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Seems like a bad idea. I need another eel. This is highlighted for some reason? How does that highlight it? Help for the puppet lady. Oh, is that one of the ingredients? Okay, I I'm, I'm really bad at keeping track of what I need. I'm kind of thankful for you guys in chat just to do some of that for me. It's like several different lists. Got the triple axle. Looking for another Mori eel. Gotta be one down here somewhere. It's not telling me how much is on it. It's two special customers. Ecology research is just level one. It's not great right now. Chance is only one eel this night. I have not seen another one. Uh, we, we've encountered you before. We'll encounter you again.
feels a lot stronger at night. <laughs> he feels a lot more powerful. You're getting too good at killing sharks. <laughs> Uh, have a natural talent. Fish have a little more health at night. Okay, that 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 makes sense. Oh, pretty good so far. We got we got a good few sharks. Boxing gloves. <laughs> Let's beat up a shark. Oh, I gotta try that. I got. Let's <laughs> punch a shark. Okay, the bowls are just money, and they're light. To be fair, punching sharks is a way to deter them from biting. It does seem very silly, though, to have, like, you know, red boxing gloves down here. Like, deep underwater. Only the essentials, you know. On the dive. Hush start. Tranquilized creatures will be of higher grade. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test that out. Still need some more of these. It does seem very out of place this game has been very serious so far. That's that's not what I'm saying. Just diving in general. It's like comical red boxing gloves is not the equipment you would expect. Oh, I gotta go all the way around. It's the last rope we need it. Wait, is that a shark? No. Not big enough. The restaurant's still open, so let's not go too far. Oh, you can't just dive into the deepest depths. When it's night. Okay, interesting. Shallows only at night. Not interested in you. Can do better. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> this is a dangerous one to try punch. Okay, I gotta stun him. <laughs> Come on, Dave. No, I, I think it's a bad idea. <laughs> Keep your guard up. Oh my god, he's, he's actually putting up a fight. Don't, don't try punch him again. I'm not going to be able to punch him down. <laughs> Extra shark acquired. D Dave got quite injured by that. Okay, there's, there's an emergency escape here. It might not be a bad idea to take it. Unless... I have one, two, three, four, five sharks and an eel.
White Trevally is when I need it. Can I even get that at night? I don't know if I've seen that. No, I can't. Okay. Oh, I, no, I'm fine. I have, a, I have more air than the game's letting on. Because I almost panicked there. Yeah, heart attack. Guys, it's fine. There's one. There's an escape pod right here. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh jeez. Never punished. Okay, we can make a new weapon now, too. Hmm. Another shark call. You didn't get the thing you came for? I, I got a more eel. Uh, I only found one. I still think we can make a healthy profit. Okay, uh, menu. Uh, more eel curry. Yep, this is this is what we need, it, not it? I'm not gonna bother just enhancing it. I just need to put like, one and put it on the menu for now. Okay. And then the other quest... White Trevally, I I simply don't have that. The game probably assumes you would have it at this point. Um, but I don't. We've gone, we've gone a bit of a different direction. Okay. Right. Let's enhance some of our meals again. No, not this one again. <laughs> oh, it's the most medicine one. Okay, this one's now gonna sell for over 200 a piece. Enhance the flavor. 34 to get this even higher. <laughs> Jesus. Do it. Enhance the flavor. I feel like that one's just not worth it. Enhance. If I see the enhance. I don't. Maybe we need to do some more eel. Don't do it. Do we just, do, do we spend 15? It's not even selling for that much. It's not even a good shark. This one's a good shark. This one's a good shark. Yeah, it's, it's just not worth it for some of them. Get the most expensive items on the menu. Only the finest quality shark cuisine. Then I gotta auto supply them all again. Check it like save the menu or something. We go. That should be plenty for tonight. Okay, uh, open the restaurant. So we're probably not gonna have time to make as much money. 
Let's see what he makes of it. He's having a ratatouille moment. Yeah, he... That's the taste I remember. Glad you like it. The food brings back memories. One time a young man who lived with a sick mother in my village was bitten by a mora eel, keeping them from going into the sea any longer. I was 12 then. I went out into the pitch black darkness and plunged a harpoon into that mora eel's gills. I brought them the dead mora eel, but the mother made, made me mora curry in thanks. You know, that woman's kind eyes brings tears to my eyes. In case, thanks for the food. That was some fantastic cooking. I said, I tell you something nice, right? Oh. Yeah, they forgot I made all that nostalgia. Come see me in the empty lot behind this building. Okay. We got something. Just serve them up. I should not accept the ones at the end of the table. They take so long to do. We're not going to make as much money tonight, unfortunately. There's just, there's just no way. Not even the case with the dirty dishes. Not as many customers. Ah, oh, profits are actually down for the first time ever. <laughs> They're not as high as they were. We didn't have as much time. Oh, it hurts. Game over. <laughs> Despair. Economic recession has hit the sushi industry. Oh, hey, hey Otto, how you doing? <laughs> Take the boat and come behind the restaurant. That's right, uh, just a mo. Uh, Uncle Karis, thank you for the 500 bits. Punching sharks works as a bite in the terror in real life because sharks have some very sensitive regions of their faces. Targeting the eyes and gills really scare a shark and tell it you're not worth it because you'll really, really hurt them. Punching a shark's nose works because they have very sensitive electroreceptors on their noses and a punch triggers a sensory overload. By the way, shark bites, sharks bite because they don't have hands to learn about things. I mean, it makes sense. They, they, they've got to just use what they've got. Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm getting the boat. <laughs> what is this? You content the fish farm. <laughs> like you're doing quite a lot of hard work catching fish every day. <laughs> but I got to making a fish farm and I finished it in a single day yesterday. Ooh. I think this is where you can grow fish and also let them multiply. I'll explain slowly, so listen closely. Let's come over to the fish section. Fish farms need to have the right environments for their fish. Each section has a fish from a different depth. So you can grow fish that live at depths of 0 to 50 meters. Each selection has limited space, and once the density reaches 100 meters, no more fish can fit. Of course, you can pay a bit of money to expand them. Each section is equipped with its own camera, so you can look inside. Now come along. Oh god, I'm gonna need to bring him back alive now, aren't I? Had a few fish to start you off. Mm. Just starting into the water is enough to make, make you all peaceful inside. That isn't the purpose of this fish farm. You try to pluck them out so they can be eaten. Pay attention. I is it possible for me to have a shark okay. farm? <laughs> you failed to catch fish because you're so busy exploding you don't need to worry. And we had fish to the farm, so if we catch them, we'll kill them. Farm by collecting fish eggs. Oh, you capture some fish alive, you'll sometimes get fish eggs. Those eggs will automatically be sent here. On one more thing, if you have two or more of the same type. They can also multiply. There's two fish each, so you should be able to see the results tomorrow. <laughs> Try coming back then. Okay. Th th this really isn't gonna work for sharks, then, is it? Uh -oh. I don't think it is. Uh -oh. There's a lot of different habitats as well. There's nine. It does work for sharks. So if I get enough shark eggs, I can do this. 
Okay, well, we'll keep an eye out. I should probably get this too. Um, for management. Can I train them further? I need to go back to the restaurant for that. Okay, go to sushi. Do we have a new area we can go? That's cool. You just need to capture them while they're still alive. It's gonna be hard to do. How do, how do I capture the shark? I'm gonna have to figure it out. We're training. Make our staff even more powerful. Training. You don't need him alive, it's just a higher chance. Oh, okay, gotcha. Staff has become more powerful. That's pretty good. Okay, so we need to get shark eggs then. We, we need a shark farm. That's the next goal. We must expand the industry. Uh, I don't have enough money to make this. I just don't have enough money for both of them. I can otherwise get them. If I, if I go sell the bowls, yeah. I think I have some. Sell your junk. Auto's been added as a contact. Oh, I, I should have the gloves now, too. Pick up various objects in the water. No, I... I... Damn you, Dr. Bacon. In your mandatory tutorial segment. You got us. Obviously, we picked up would show a button when you go near him. Just try grabbing a pile of rocks over there and drop them. Weak wood, so you should be able to break through it. <laughs> I did it. Let's try going there. Go through the opening. God. Current strong, grab that anchor so it won't sweep you away. Oh, that's cool. Straight up new mechanics. Grab this now. Oh, I gotta get the strength high enough. Grab the treasure. That's cool. So I imagine the level is going to change now to reflect, like, incorporate that in the design more. Diving gloves look like they could come in very handy. But sea people are waiting for you. Go down there and try pulling out that stake. That's cool. Okay, uh, I need to sell my bowls. There we go. And with that, I can now craft, I think, both of these. Um, let's get a small net gun. <laughs> I love this sequence. <laughs> Okay, we can equip that. Uh, we can craft this too. Oh, it's a different one. <laughs> oh, no! 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh, good God. Okay, uh, we got the hush start. Uh, Triglass creatures, we have a high grade. It doesn't do any damage, though. I, I... Wh which is better for us to, to equip here? Hush start or the small net? For sharks, it's just a bullet. <laughs> if you want them alive, the hush dart for the shark. Okay. Swap. Let's try it. It won't let you capture one now, though, will it not? How do I upgrade the weapons again? Like, they were talking about that before. I have weapon upgrade materials. Go back to Duff. Oh, okay, I need to open his Man Book Pro, of course. So I can upgrade it here, if I have enough materials. Medium neck gun. Oh, okay, so th this is what I probably want, is it? I need a large neck gun, probably, if I want the shark. Want the last one, probably. It's not enough material, so I, I need a lot more rope. Uh, I need purple starfish for this one. So rope and starfish. It's a lot of upgrades for this one. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Tranquilizer triple axle could be fun. Sammy, thank you for a thousand bits. I got this game because of your streams, Dan. Thanks. I think that's nine games I've gotten because of you now. Best streamer easy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm something of an influencer, you might say. Blah. Hate that word. But thank you. Thank you. It's very kind. He's influencing. I'm refunding it now. He's influencing my ADHD. <laughs> I'm having a miserable time here. Oh, God. He's influencing my stress. Okay. Oh, we, we did some of the Eco Watch stuff, didn't we? Yeah, the invasive species is gone. There we go. There's, there's even more of them, apparently. <laughs> Remove the jellyfish. Get them gone. We can almost rank up with Cooks to two. Good rewards when we get this. Jeez, we're doing great. Okay. Um, shall we hop back down? Is there anything? Go to the access road. And then I need... What, what fish was it? White Trevally. Can you guys tell me what a white Trevally looks like if we see it? Keep an eye out. 
It's white. My god. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no way. Okay. Make our descent. Go, Dave. I needed some parts of weapon upgrades. You might just have to remind me what we need upgrade-wise just as we go. Because I'm, I'm probably not going to keep track of it. My feeble gamer brain is just going to see a shark and want to fight it. I need a lot of rope. Yeah, I do. There's one there. Purple starfish. Lightning harpoon tip. Oh, hello, friend. <laughs> Will you guys get away? Get, get out of here. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to try and take him alive. Sorry. <laughs> oh, is that, is that the fish? It's, it's highlighted. <laughs> I'm supposed to take him alive. Sorry. I just, I just can't help myself. Hang on. Let me collect them. Let me... Yeah, I don't think that's quite right. You have to hit it again with a dart. I've only got like two bullets with this thing. Not a lot. You have to wait seven seconds. Okay. I'll try it again in a moment. Need that for anything? Apparently. What's that box? Quest kelp? I think I've already got enough kelp. I think we're good there. Down. Keep going down. More sharks? Any sharkers? Oh, there's one! Hello, friend. Yeah, uh, let's... Okay, so if I want to tranquilize them... Do I just wait now? I, I don't- I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> no, he's just dead. It's not enough that he kills him, now he has to <laughs> enslave. I'm just, I, I'll be honest, I'm kind of just hoping I get their eggs. Yeah, I've already got three sharks. I only need one white trevally, don't I? That one's very dead.
I think it's only one. Three pieces of meat. Yep, so just one will do. There's another shark friend here. He's a hugger. Carve him up. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna hope that they drop their eggs. I think that's just easiest. <coughs> oh, I'm dying, excuse me. Uh, what do I, what do I even drop? Is, 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 like, lose this bit of shark? What do I drop? Lose the sauce. I don't think that dropping the sauce is gonna make, like, a substantial difference. <laughs> like, I don't think so. Thumb's gotta go. Yeah, the, the white tip shark is gone. Are we back? That was weird. Hello? It, uh, it lipped. The sharks took their revenge. <laughs> they took out the internet. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I don't know what happened there. Uh, we still good? Did the stream interrupt? No, I think it went to, like, the Discord offline for a bit. I think... Not Discord. Uh, pff, Twitch offline. I think we're good. They bit the cables. <laughs> They're on to us. Sharks have had enough. Go, go even deeper. Thanks for bearing with me there, gang. Is it the purple one I need it? No idea. Get some amethyst. I, I don't have space to carry anything right now. Just see what they want. I want to go deeper there. Purple and rope. Grab what I can. I'll only take this if it's cat food. Just don't have space. Go deeper. Oh, no, don't do it, don't do it! Don't do it! Okay, that's actually quite bad. We don't have a lot of oxygen right now. You know, there's one there. All right. Say it ain't so. <laughs> the jellyfish is slowing me down now. Just delete them. I had a quest to delete the jellyfish, I think. It, it's not the dark gun, but it is quite funny to use. Mm. Pile of rocks moving around. What you found there, Dave? Oh, he's gonna reveal a secret or something again. Hopeful friend. 
<laughs> Octopus from last time, it's spraying ink again. So I'm gonna turn you into sushi. The Octopus Returns mission. I'm gonna have to hit it again, apparently. Hang on. You can cut metal, but not wood. It is a bit weird. There we go. Hey, he's spraying twice, but I won't let you get away with this. Ask Bonjour for Takoyaki. <laughs> He is weirdly trying to help us. It's definitely quick. Another octopus charm. The wood sets on fire, obviously. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. A rusty weapon charm. Put that away. Oh, we're right here with the gang, too, so we can just remove this now. No, I gotta talk to him first. Hang on. Hey, how's it going? I know it's been a day. Our language that name sounds like spoiled whale meat. Guys, please, I'm trying to help you. We go. Go even deeper. It's effective, but not enough. Make one more attempt might cut it. Another rock pile over there. No movable device over there. I have to go check it out first. Did this clear the way, like to go back up to anything too. This is just where the octopus was hanging out. It's the squid game people keep talking about. More or less. That was such a big thing when that launched. I, was, I haven't heard like anything since. I think they're making another season of it. It was like everyone was talking about it for like two weeks and then it just disappeared. Nothing on this side, I'll have to go around. Okay, uh, how do we get around? Be up here? Don't want to have to use the grenade launcher at this close proximity. Ow. I'm gonna go get that oxygen down there. Go back up. We get a Netflix One Piece live action. I I've just never seen anything of um, that series, and I feel like it's just too late to start now. It's <laughs> the rubber chicken again. Yeah, you know, let's take him. Slightly too heavy. Discard. Should be fine. It's literally episode one. It's a starting point. Yeah, of like, like twenty years of episodes. <laughs> like, nah, I'm good. Like, it's the train's leaving the station, and it's not gonna fucking return for like two decades. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm sure it's a 10 for those who enjoy it, but I, I do not have that kind of time. 
I gotta play video games on Twitch. Honestly, I don't think I've even spent as much time, uh, like, playing Pokemon. Which would be, like, one of the main things I play that it would take to catch up on One Piece. I don't think it's even close. Pull it out. There we go. Somehow that was keeping the entire structure together. Is this all gonna fall in the village? Village is very close, coming through the hole you just made. I'll go ahead. I have a request for you, so I'd like you to come to the village with us. Sea people village, me. It's the reason I came all the way up to the human sea. I have a request. Access road. We did it, we killed a civilization. <laughs> Want a shovel or a rubber chicken? No, it's the rubber chicken. This is no contest. It's getting very dark. Oh! Something just moved past me. Human, go on ahead and be our lookout. But it's so dark. I like there might be some something dangerous here. Is it time for a new boss? We haven't had one in a while. Just see if there's anything else over here. No, I think they want me to go that way. Would you happen to have a shark infestation in the village? Because Dave could handle that. <laughs> yeah, oh, here it is. You sense a dangerous creature's presence. Okay, let's, let's do it. We have a rubber chicken. Deep sea cave. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? Okay, there, there's anchors to grab onto. I'm sensing a mechanic here. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh no, those vibrations again. Something has to be here. Why do you tell me to come alone? Oh! The wolf eel. I don't have a gun. Yeah, I, I, need, I need to grab onto something a bit faster. Okay, that's how he's gonna attack. Give me the rifle. Wait, no, that's a grenade launcher. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Oh. It looks really tough. Shine spot on its tail. Let's weaken the rest of its body. Come on, Dave! Hey, when he's here. Grab on! <laughs> he's gonna retreat. Get out of the way. Where's he coming from? God. Get him, Dave! Come 
on, go on, grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh, Dave! Where's he coming from? Just out of the way here. Oh, there's rocks now, right? <laughs> It's shockingly intense. I think I was okay most of that fight. I think if you get eaten, that's pro you're probably dead. I think it's a one shot if he, if he just swallows you whole. It's so intense. Jesus Christ, Dave. How are you doing this? You're stronger than I expected, human. Yeah, big gate over there. That's the entrance of the village. Take the lead, human. Wait, let me, let me just get some sushi, you know. Uh, let's carve him up real quick. Okay, gonna be gonna be a little slow from this point. Rank 99. I think it's because it's a special one. It's not a shark. It's not. Final boss. I just want it to be a giant shark. <laughs> Finally, back to the village entrance pass passageway. Remember, you have a key, right? Oh no, I left the key back at the. Just kidding, I have it here in my bag. Thought you would ask me to take you again. Insert the key and get back to the village. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's, it's just straight up welcome to Atlantis, basically. Oh, so this is, that's right, this is the sea people village we live in. Could be a place like this under the sea. <laughs> it's a good apprehend, Dave. Wait, how did the human get here? I when Sua, were you kidnapped by this human? Tenzin awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Kinda hard to explain. Um, yeah, I rescued Rav after she was kidnapped by a squid. Okay, just take me to my father. It'll be faster for me to explain things to him. Hey, friends. How you doing? I'm, I'm just hanging out. <laughs> just new in town. Tenzin's house. Hey, you got anything I could turn to sushi? Oh my goodness, Rama, my daughter. Don't worry, my precious girl, your daddy. Your daddy was worried out of his wits. You were hurt that the humans do something to you, my daughter. Wait, who is this next to you? That you brought a blue manatee. But this is a human. They're so mean to Dave. So mean. What's going on here? I like an explanation. You know, strange things that have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree. Of course, Rama, I've been looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. The ancient texts have been lost and we need to figure out new methods again. And simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. Not the humans. They can't be trusted. We dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put on display. The wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. Can't lie with the likes of... 
Ja. It's time for another civilization and economy to depend on Dave to fix everything. I was taken by the giant squid in human waters. Dave here, help me out. Oh, he said he was the one to uh, ask him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well, even if I want this, the villagers would not agree. You can help from humans. Everyone find it hard to believe. This man could gain the villagers' trust. I'll consider your suggestion. Villagers' trust. How does he go about winning that? Well, asking around to see what they need. Right, since today's long trip has been pretty tiring. Human, come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. I've got to just swim all the way back down. Chapter 3 of Request from the Sea, people. Did you say you helped my daughter, Rama? I suppose it would be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're a human. Use this. Sea people mirror once installed will let you instantly travel to this village. Oh shit, so we can just go to the depths. Various disasters have caused her to climb, but our ancestors were very advanced civilization ones. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. I recognize your face so only you'll be able to use it. Also operates from the light of the divine tree of the sun. But you can only use it during the day. Give me the village map to use to help you find the villagers. You can just teleport now. Come a long way from sushi. You've unlocked fast travel, basically. Oh, right, here's some grenade launcher blueprints as well. We got so much done. Octopus weapon charm. Extra 15% of gun base damage added. Have a look and maybe equip that. <laughs> I guess I'll install the sea people mirror on the boat. I can get to the sea people village with this during the day, right? I should go tomorrow. Oh, we just got it. We're just going straight for sushi today. And now back to our minimum wage job as a waiter at the sushi bar, basically. Looks like I arrived too late. I should do a little cleanup. Dave works so hard. Mr. Yoshi, Mr. Yoshi, what are you doing here? The work ended just now. I was just passing by. I saw the lights up. We're on despite the hour. Ancho seems to have gone home already. He's a bit tired recently. I'm only working. He, I'm worried he might fall ill. And so I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. And think of it. I heard he once gave up on cooking because of the incident. Back then I thought he was gone for good. I wonder what it was about. It's nothing that secretive. Simply avoid it. Mention it when I'm present just in case it's still a sore spot for Bancho. Thirsty, can you first give me a glass of beer? Yeah, uh, sure thing. Can I not take one from there? Pour soda about 20% is foam. <sighs> Worked out? Nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. Especially nice to have a view of the sea at night like this as I drink. I'll let you know a bit about Bancho and why he quit cooking for a while. It was 12 years ago. Oh. Wait, what? This is the Dugong Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both tradition and a long history. Looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of the food and service had been newly improved. Yoshi, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer left a reservation. Troublesome customer? You know the actress, Lois Crawford? She made a reservation at our hotel. I gotta investigate. <laughs> a hotel, a Dugong Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we had noble staying in our accommodations. Many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old era nostalgia use our services, and we had very high standards for the services we provided. Andrew had spent his entire life at the hotel, like a living embodiment of his history. He had a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by his upper class of each country, very used to service and those of high rank. Many VIPs sought his services. Hey, Lois Crawford. Lois Crawford, she was the leading actress with a long career. 
Her role as a spy in one of her most famous works, The 42nd Floor, is extremely impressive. It appears to have uh, hit a slight slump as her new movies haven't been doing very well. For the Lois Crawford can be very picky. It will be a very high quality hotel with a history and tradition on her side. I don't think there will be any issue if she comes. So there it is. Nobody can beat the level of services and staff of this hotel. Well, many prizes as well. Just one thing. You haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. This is... She's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. But that's a blurb she published in a travel magazine recently. It appears to be a description of her travels, but it's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Lawyer hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote such a scathing review. Bringing out the bad does make a person look more professional. Her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshi? Oh, I've... Oh, I've got to make the call. Uh... Let's go. We'll show her. Suppose we can't refuse the reservation if only for the hotel's reputation's sake. In that case, we'll have to think about how we'll serve her. We'll take the reservation, but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Do you have any ideas, Yoshi? Uh. Hotel strengths are a long history and tradition as well as our high quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. We'll need, more we'll need clean rooms and services that can match her taste. We'll treat her as a VIP. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers, and place them, I also check on the state of the rooms. And about who will receive her. I suppose I'll have to do that. Thank you. No one that can handle such a tricky customer except you. A uh, long experience with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. About the meals, we can offer her the buffet for breakfast, but we'll also need to ready a dinner course. The dinner's at our hotel. Italian or French. Neither of these are sushi. Just, just, just make a pizza. Hotel provides Italian food like a bistro, and in a la carte style. We surpassed her a pizza with a simple wine. Chef learned to cook in... How do you pronounce that? Napoli? It's not Naples. <laughs> and his margarita pizza was good, but it didn't really go well with the dinner course. Japanese is a new option. Udon Hotel's Japanese food has never been a strong suite, so we only served Udon or simple donburi. We've been making ex exponential progress, however, after we hired Bancho. We've grown quite dramatically. Bancho was famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients, and his food was recently featured in an overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. His Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Bancho hasn't really proven himself yet. You think he'll be alright? Bancho's skill is indis indisputable, however. The great drawback is that he doesn't consider the pre preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavors. This is what drives his creativity, of course. This time, it won't really serve us. Dealing with the infamous Lois Crawford, after all. See, that's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is try to persuade Bancho. I agree. Best of luck, Shiyoshi. Here he is, hard at work. A younger Bancho. Pancho, are you here? Mr. Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here. That's good. Come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look all you want. It's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Pancho was, was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, had him as a resume, and explained he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed in the resume were top tier, but Pancho never stayed in one place for long. He told me that he moved on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him. Then he left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He always found the kitchen busy with something, day in, day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. You see, I heard that you never skip research and practice, Pancho. It relieves me to see you so hard at work. What do you mean you're relieved? Yeah, we have gone full visual novel, by the way. People just joined in the stream. It's like, what the fuck is happening? Um, I don't know. I'm at a loss too, but we're, we're figuring it out. Bancho, would you be willing to try service in a VIP? That's right, we have an important guest who increase our reputation. A rider who might send a plummet to the ground. Her name is Lois Crawford. 
She's an actress that's infamously hard to please. Also a gourmet reviewer. About a year since you joined the Dugong Hotel. The Japanese food team, which was never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time. We can't deny that your contribution to this was great. However, this means that we also get customers who want special treatment. You mean to say that I should try and please this picky woman, Lois Crawford? Yes, this is important, as Dugong Hotel's reputation lies in the balance. Hmm. What do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal, and that won't change no matter who I cook for. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season, the most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? Alright, we'll leave the individual dishes in your hands, Bancho. However, I'd like to offer input on the method of service in our guest. Alright, you're the expert, Miss Yoshi. When it comes to service of food... A sushi course! Let's go. A sushi course offers various kinds of sushi in a certain order, with a few side dishes and interspersed, interspersed in between. It allows us to use sushi to allow our customers to try many types of fish. What do you think of the sushi course? It's also your specialty. I'm very familiar with the method. However, don't you think it's, it'll be too ordinary? If we choose to go with this, we'll likely use tuna sushi. Pike heel sushi. Do you like shark sushi? <laughs> That won't be very impressive, however. This to be dinner. I think a course would be better than a single dish. That means it'll probably be better to employ a western course format instead. It'll be a bit different from traditional method. I think I got soup, an hors d'oeuvre, sashimi, side dishes, sushi, tempura, and dessert to the course. What do you think? He's doing it all. Not bad. So how, how, what will you make for each dish? Just the soup to begin with. A few minutes later. is next. I suppose shrimp will be the most logical choice. Difficult to create any impact with shrimp. Kept everything pretty normal so far, as so this is where we add a little spice. We're researching this very topic. How does something like this sound? We must have a good idea. Let's hear it. Yes! Boncho gets us! <laughs> shark. I'm thinking of using a dish that uses a shark head. What? A shark? Could sharks be eaten? Sharks are a very tasty fish. This is the time of year when they grow fat. Boosting the flavor. The meat in the cheeks in particular has a lovely chewy texture. This reminds you about ordinary meat and fish. Shark is too exotic of an ingredient. Could we use something a little more widely consumed? Especially considering this is Lois Crawford. Good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. It is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. Give it some thought. I'm not sure if it'll be okay. Help but think it's not that great of an idea, Bancho. Hmm. <laughs> serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. The manager and I will also take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to the Dugong Hotel, not a restaurant operated by you. The hotel must seek to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience to its guests. None can be allowed to mar that experience, as the hotel will stand to lose by it. There's no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know from taking just a bite that it's one of the greatest foods. There's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person, after all. What a pity. I understand. I'll go with shrimp tempura, then. I can't compare to shark. Oh no, and she's gonna be disappointed. He should have made shark. You should have trusted your instinct, Bancho. This way, Miss Crawford. Thank you. This this is the chef who will be preparing your food today, Bancho. He's younger than I expected. Hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Oh, my tight lipped, are we? Perhaps my looks leave you at a loss for words. Ah, it seems a little tense. He's still quite a skilled chef, I assure you. We're looking forward to the food, then. I remember the service here being quite alright for an old hotel. I like the carpet and the paintings on the walls as well. For instance, the Gloria Hotel have a... Kitsch? Quality to them that I don't like? But I think there's no gym. It's a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my figure. It was our intention that your stay would be as restful as possible. Everyone has a preferred way of resting. Well, the bathing facilities were good, so I'll content myself with that. So, what's for dinner? Japanese course meal. Here's the course menu. The first dish is there. D do you want an egg? <laughs> just, just serve an egg. This is this, this is a strained egg steamed with dashi and other ingredients. You find lily root, shrimp, uh, ginkgo net, and mushrooms inside. Steamed egg. I was expecting something a bit more special. Well, I suppose there are quite a few ingredients inside. It's also made with love to bring out the best flavor for the guests. <laughs> it was made with love. So what are we what are we eating tonight? 
I made margarita pizza. Served with the finest love for our chefs. They really enjoy cheese and tomato sauce on bread, you have to understand. The chef personally kissed each pizza before serving it on the menu tonight. The garlic, in, the garlic bread has received a loving embrace before it hit the table. <laughs> like, served with love. The next dish is... He read it a bedtime story. So the tempura and dessert are left. What's the tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. So that's commonly served with rice. The dessert's not without the usual fruit. I've tasted basically everything. I had to decipher a reaction, and we succeeded. How do you like it? Are you happy with your Japanese food? Well, it's about as good as I expect it to be, I suppose. I suppose I would c could come here to eat every now and then. Why bother coming to a hotel to eat food that's quite average? Ah, even so, I'm sure our food is better than most of the other restaurants. Should have trusted your gut, Bancho. You should have trusted your gut. The moment I saw a steamed egg, I had a feeling the food would be average, and I was right. Oh dear, it seems Japanese food isn't all. All that to your liking. You know, of that fact, we served you Japanese by mistake. Please accept our apologies. Whatever, it wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. The hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. Ah, uh, may I have a word? Bancho! Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm the master chef who works here, Bancho. Not much of a speaker, so I'm listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. Oh my, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than anywhere else, right? Now, now, Bancho, Miss Lois here is just... It's most definitely my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh well, gosh, I'm a very busy woman. What you witnessed today aren't my real skills. I'm sh I'm sh I'll serve you food that can be objectively be called good. Bancho, you can't be talking about... You're saying you have something else you think will satisfy me. Alright, I'll wait, but remember my time is valuable. Your food had better be amazing. Bancho, you can't be thinking of... What is it, Miss Yoshi? Is there something I'm missing? Hold on. This is a whole roasted shark head. Oh my god, this is... You fried the whole head! It is an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks hasn't been cut out. I chose to fry the head whole to preserve the supple texture. You'll never taste something like this anywhere else. High quality dish made using the best possible ingredient. Get that out of my sight! How can you call this food? What are you saying? Take a bite. I guarantee you'll be transported to heaven. I am not happy about this. Is this what service is like at Dugan Hotel? It's all my fault, I apologize. Now, Bancho, Yoshi, you apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Lois. I shouldn't have- I should have been more vigilant. Looks are not all there is to food. Why you refuse to even try it, Miss Lois? Bancho, now isn't the time to- Find this highly unpleasant. Is this some kind of hidden camera prank or punishment? You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll just let you get away with it. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. But the shark! It's- it's tasty! It's all we serve! After that, Bancho quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed the train. My belief, it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and cooking meds that he researched. I see. Still, I admire him for not giving up on the belief that he's going on the right path. I suppose it was the stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Working with you now, he's even started social media. Feel something has changed about him. But I like it. He's posting on Twitter these days. Something's different in the air. I think you're good for him. Please continue to get along. <laughs> Do my best to help. Bancho, focus on his cooking. There's something different. There seems to be like seven sharks on the counter every morning. Oh, we're getting more tools here. We have just a mirror. Cronus, thank you for a thousand bits. Lois Crawford was found dead later that night, but in the hotel's elevator, the killing blows a shark bite. <laughs> yes, for you see, Lois, it was I that planted the shark in the lift. You thought you were going to the basement and didn't expect it to be underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Fun shark! <laughs> oh no. He has a shark tooth in his shoulder. 
It all links back. I haven't done Von Kyra voice in a while. I, I, I hope that's still, like, consistent. It's, I have to practice it. It was I. You could never be rid of me. Yeah, I, I think I've still got it. I think I've still got it. It's been a while. <sighs> still got it. Oh, Dave, you weren't around yesterday. <laughs> you're having a wild flashback sequence. Couldn't get in touch with you via radio either. At the Sea People Village yesterday. Here you what? What happened? Well, you see. There's a lot to catch up on. Dave's yeah, been having a wild time of it. I see, I envy you, I do. What a lucky experience. Mm. Not sure I can help, but it's clear they have problems to deal with. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you go talk with the residents first? I'd love to go as well, but uh, as you said, only one person could use the Sea People mirror. What a pity. <laughs> I'm about to turn of events. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra mm. Shop. Okay, so I can just hop down to the village if I so choose. Are oh, they gonna have sharks down there? Use the mirror attention gave you to immediately travel to the Sea People village. The mirror is solar powered, so it's unable to be used at night. <laughs> Oh, Otto's calling too. He wants me to go to the fish farm. This everything is happening. There's like seven different trains of like progress. Mark the section of the new fish with hearts so they're easy to recognize. Come and see for yourself. There's a new one. Right of my son who I haven't seen in a long time. You have a son. It's a windy and rainy day. I went too far out on my ship and the storm flipped my boat over. I've been able to go back to see my son since. Yeah, we're gonna have to find him at the bottom of the ocean. Thanks to you, Otto, I feel much much less pressure to catch fish. Two more of the same kind of fish is a chance for a baby to be born. Uh, what, did I just have shark eggs, like, sitting about? There's just one here. I must have just had it. You picked them up last dive. I didn't... You get the egg notification after the dive. Oh, we're gonna have to... We're gonna get so many sharks. Uh, this one needs to be sold, though. Uh, send... Well, just... Yeah, just send it to the kitchen. He's got... This is sharks only. I, I'm gonna need to get rid of all of these too. Um, I'm not happy with these fish. Sell them off. It's a shark based society. Okay, we'll go and catch more, don't worry, we'll fill this place up. Need nothing but sharks. I have the food, um... For the girl later. Just feed right... Give regular cat food for now. Uh, steamed wolf eel. That sells for 550. That's so much. It's max level. We might have our highest day of profit soon. I, I, th I think we can do it. Okay, so what's the one I need to have um, on the menu? White Trevally, was it this? I think it was this. Okay, just put one of them on the menu for later, because that's gonna auto be sold. That's not worth the 15. I don't need the eel for something else. You already sold off the eel. Okay. Rest of it's kind of irrelevant for now. 
$550 for eel. Actually, yeah, I, I got I got, well, I gotta pop this on the menu. I I have to sell this. I can, there's only one. It serves ten units though. This is gonna be the most profitable day ever. I'm, ju I'm just gonna sell that. I'm not. There's gonna be nothing else on the menu for a while. Amazing. I, I gotta get my most profitable day. Oh, I meant to click the boat. That's from that alone. Yeah, that, that's so much. Okay, uh, did I have anything I needed to equip? I have, like, two charms. Extra 15% of gun base damage. I, I need- I want the dash, I think. Having the dash speed might just be handiest. I'm using, like, the harpoon gun. Does it- does it affect that? I think it's only the gun. So I don't think that really matters too much. Oh, just one second, gang, as well. Okay, yeah, I'm all good. I just got something I need to check later. That's fine. Only the gun. Okay, so I, d I don't need this then. Um, let's just put on the dolphin necklace for now. Cool. Go trust with the sea people, serve the food. So I've, I've got to just start the day by using the mirror, I think. We have to see what's happening here. Into the void. This is gonna count as my dive for the day by being here. Had it. M for details. This is the map. There's, there's a whole society down here. Oh god, we're gonna have to pick up a lot of missions. What's going on here? Mima's restaurant. They're all gonna have quests. I forgot Awang and Nawang uh, ordered lunch boxes. I just gotta help him out. Go out to the village. There's a basket here if I want to deliver. Is this the lunch box that I need to deliver? Gatekeepers. Here you go, lads. I got you lunch from Mima. You didn't have poison on the way here or anything, did you? <laughs> uh, just enjoy, enjoy your sandwich, you know. No poison here. They'd love it. Okay, does the dolphin have anything to say? I can ride a Oh, it's a beluga. He's just hanging out. What do you do with that mat? You can't even breathe underwater. Check in here. The seed shop. Sell various seeds here as well as flowers to offer to King Long. I don't know, you know they don't know who King Long is. It's the greatest king who saved this village from disaster. We're difficult to hold a conversation with you, you know that? I want to offer a flower to King Long first. Okay, sure thing. We got, we got a lot of little quests to do here. 
Statue of King Long. Did anyone see him? King Long Square, he's back there. Very heavy flowers, apparently. Yeah, they are. <laughs> having, having a bit of trouble with them. Yeah. Same person as the paint from the record chamber. Okay, pop them down here, Dave. My main question is, will this lead to me killing another kind of shark? That is the goal. How many quests are there for me to do as well? There's there's one more quest over there. It seems that oxygen just is it does not drain here as well. That's cool. All roots lead to shark. That is the hope. Ten credits. We got credit and currency there. Let's drop off here. So I think we're only going to be able to build so much trust each day <laughs> before they let me do more. I need to get a hundred. This means our profits might suffer a little bit because we're gonna have to spend time down here to advance the, the plot. But I think I think we should be okay. Enter's house, portal, board workshop, the arcade has a quest. Okay. Take our way over. Good Dave, go. Active requests. A quest board for us. You can leave the village and access the depths. I, I, I don't want to just yet. I want to see what's going on here. Human. He's nothing for us. Dave's, yeah, Dave's having a hell of a vacation. Thinking about it. A lot has happened. The game parlor. Get the humans water in our village, right? Fancy decorations. What is this place? We see people work hard every day. It's a place of pleasure for the hard-working villagers. Can't come in, right? All right, species is no barrier to enjoyment, is it? But you're helping out the village, isn't that right? You need help with something. The establishment operates seahorse races, which are extremely popular. A recent earthquake destroyed the general quarters and all the seahorses have run off. They'll still be in the village. Will you go catch them for me? The seahorses have escaped. Too small for a harpoon. Can't run anything else for now. Oh, I got live music. Hope you enjoyed it. Shark teeth find the pearl? Shark teeth. This is a game with sharks which you play with a junak. Remember the shark cavity that you sometimes get a glimpse of? Number between one and three I select and whoever touches it first will lose. Wait, wait, what, what am I, what am I picking? I'm trying to understand it. How many T, was it? The 
It's a ways away yet. Yeah. He's hurt his finger on this before. Shark gambling. I wish I kept better track of where it was. I don't know which one's the first one. I think I can go three. Now I think even if he goes one, he's in trouble. No, now, now, now I'm absolutely in trouble. Okay, I, I understand though. I can win it back. Hang on. It took, it took me around to understand. That's fine. About ten. I can do it this time. It's just that one at the end. There's only one at the end. The second to last one. I can get him. I just need to get it over there a bit. Okay, so if I pick three, he can pick three and I lose. So, pick two. And now, no matter what, I win. And one. choice. You did it, Dave. Not losing here. Now, I need to make a profit, though. It's not enough to just win, win our savings back. I want to bet 50. And one more. Okay, I see where it is. I have my finger on my monitor just to keep track. Full for three, which I think is the wrong play entirely, because now I just do three and I win. It's having a bad time of it. <laughs> you did it, Dave. Profit acquired. Back out of that. Let's find the pearl. Try to find the hermit cr crab that hit the pearl. Guess which the fast moving hermit crabs hit the pearl. I can do that. Hey, keep track of it. Bottom right one. He's still on the bottom right. Now, if we win it one more, then we can go for 50. It's 
go. Top right. Okay, now we're going for 50. <laughs> we're going all in now. Right. I could double it once more. I could double it once more. I could bet a hundred now. Let's go. <laughs> back someone watch the stream someone's got to have clipped it is the bottom left chat says bottom left thank god there's like thousands of us like confer and it's like let me, let's discuss our options here dog oh, chat what have you done what have you done chat I was actually leaning top left I was leading top left. We lost everything. Next time you have to do a frame by frame analysis. <laughs> Back with the two game, I've nothing to bet. I've lost it all. Okay, uh, I need to. I need to get some seahorse that ran away. Everyone see him? Devastated. I should have trusted my gut. Grab sea horses with you guys. And you need some kind of tool. Um, I, I have no idea what I would use for this. Nah, I don't have a net. Where does this go? Can I go in that? I don't think I can. Girl at the restaurant, you'll see. Okay. Hop over. Okay, there's one there. Restaurant's over here. There's no one here that has some. Oh, you mean the girl at the restaurant, like, uh, uh, above ground in that. I think that's what you mean. Because I can't do that right now. Okay. Um, well, I guess we go out into the depths then.
go into the sea. Go into a new region. See what we can find. I can't we lost it all in the casino. Devastated. I should have trusted my gut. Should have trusted my gut. Okay. Well, let's see what new uh, new kinds of sharks we can find. Not interested in any of these. Oh, it's actually going to be sealed. I can't go back out. No, that's a, di that's a different path. Okay, I, I can go back up here. I can go back out here, and this is like the depth that I was at before. This depth wasn't that good for sharks, though. I feel like I'm coming out here and I'm gonna need to just swim all the way back. I can get this fella. I do this. No. It's just, it doesn't seem to work for bringing them home alive. <laughs> it's too big. Well, let's just get a full haul of supplies while we're down here. We have a very profitable day at the restaurant lined up. No matter what we do. So that's good. You need to upgrade it. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to get upgrade materials. I, pr I should probably just start grabbing more shit that I see. Back whatever we can. Uh, let me let me crack open this crab. <laughs> Jesus. Take the scooter. Hey friend, how you doing? Oh, get away, get away! Thank you. I'm good eating. This is the best one we can get because it's rank seven. Crab for dinner. <laughs> Let me get this. We'll, we'll bring a few crabs home. We'll just keep like a few things in the pantry. I'm sure there are more sharks than that. I just want them now. Tranquilizer harpoon tip. Maybe that might help us get them. Bring one in home alive. Ow. Climbing out of the depths. Some random bits of wood. 
iron seashell. I don't think that's needed for anything. This one is. I don't think I can trade anything at the moment. Just start using these, though. I was just gonna save in our inventory forever. Hop back out of here. What we got? Hey, friend. Maybe there's enough tranquilizer to bring him in peacefully. <laughs> Only I can grab him like that. Day, another shark. Go and just bring this guy home. <laughs> just to see what he does. Will he come peacefully? Wait, what does that mean? Too big. I need, need need a submarine or something. Can't do it. A lot of space and backpack. I don't think I don't think it is about space though. I actually have a, a lot because you can carry over capacity. You need a special tool to pick them up. Okay. Pick him up? <laughs> no. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to bring the sharks home for a while. We don't have access to this tool. Now, did some eggs sneak in? There might be some when we get back to the surface. back up. Oh, listen, hop out. Eggs only show at the end. So we just, just live in hope for shark eggs. And we can get them all in there. That's the only way we'll get them, because we're, we're just not good enough at, like, taking them in alive. We have to kill everything we touch. Perfect. Okay, we got. We're in business. Three eggs. Okay, so you're gonna get them quite readily. So we, we don't even need to worry that much. That's fantastic. Crank up yet? Yeah, not quite. Shark omelette, baby. <laughs> I can't help the people in the village until I um, figure out what's going on here, so I need to serve her for that. Can I just dive in? Heck on the eggs. Go to, go to the, the fish spot, yeah. Open the village just means more gambling. that perfect shark being at it there should be more sharks soon tossed in here <laughs> oh no you have to get the areas or he can't take the fish so we need 2,000 gold okay
It saves it, don't worry. Okay, so th those shark cakes have just been put in the storage for now. Wonderful. Okay, go back to the boat. Eat the eggs, but you need the area. So I think the only thing I can do right now is just capture more sharks. I can't pursue anything else for the time being. Could help the environment too. Maybe. Not enough materials to craft this. I still need more rope. I have that, don't I? Owned one. Yeah, I actually own those already. I think this has turned into an entirely shark-based economy. <laughs> it has. Like, it, this is the famous, like, Mr. Boncho's shark sushi. I, I don't think I just do I used the mirror this time. I think I just dive in. There's more sharks. Stick it at the lowest Crawford. <laughs> Next time she comes here, she's going to be amazed. Oh, God. Is, what am I, else am I looking for, too? Oh! Oh, this guy's hanging out again. He's massive! Big friend. I think there's something to say. Record his cries and ask Ellie about it. Oh! What was that? Wait, oh god, the game the game has started lagging quite badly. Hang on, something. Something just happened. You will update Windows. Uh, something like a, I, th I think it's just a different program just decided to turn on there. At an unfortunate time. The lag protected us armor wise. Uh, did I get the whale cries? I, I might have just messed that up. He might have just ran off. Virus installed successfully. <laughs> it's from the from the previous stream. Don't, don't want you. Did you download that free RAM? I did! My computer should be working better, if anything. I don't know what's happening. I think the dark gun kind of sucks at the moment, too. Until, until we upgrade it, it's like, I cannot use this. I go back to my shotgun uh, for getting the sharks. Dave Shark Hunter. Need starfish for the upgrade. Oh, I got. I got it. I got a actually pay attention to what I'm supposed to be collecting. There's so many just random bits everywhere. Get away! Apparently it's overpopulation again.
don't want to keep them though. They're not that great. They're not sharks. Why aren't you collecting the kelp, which is clearly marked? I, I already have enough kelp. I, uh, I, I don't need more. Catch, kill, and release. <laughs> That's what they mean. Uh, like, you know, when you go fishing, it's catch and release. Right? Make sure it's dead and just toss it back into the ocean. <laughs> oh god. Harvest him. That one? Oh, that's a barracuda. I, I have a quest to kill one more of you, though. And that you're dead. Catch and release. I thought I saw another one over here. Nature is healing. Okay, oh, we're gonna have to go all the way around, I think. If you're on tranquilizer shotgun, you need to get bone fragments. Let's say I, I don't know any of that stuff what I'm supposed to be looking for. Like, I, I wish you could track individual resources like that for crafting. Because I feel like that would help. Stop nature from healing. Tranquilizer shotgun sounds so powerful, by the way. <laughs> It's not a combination that should work. A tranquilizer shotgun. Yeah, uh, you'll, you'll tranquilize him, alright? You'll fucking kill him. <laughs> they won't be moving. I need a brown seashell. I don't think I do. You'll make him sleep. and release. Let's grab that for now. Uh, that is the little hidey hole one, so we don't really want to go down that. More or less a dead end. I want to go back up. There's just there's just not many sharks down here. This new area is not the best. Lacking in sharks. Like there there is like I think there's the one that swallows you. He's down there. Kirby shark. That's kind of it. Might have been one other one. The music here is great, though. I mean, it is. Not what we're after, though. Grab some extra bones. 
have one of them already for the quest. When are we going to see the great ones? They're down here. We continue the search. time now. And how do you manage to cause some sort of mass destruction of the environment in every game you play? It's either, I mean, I think that kind of goes in part though, like somehow trying to play these games efficiently, like you just become a tyrant capitalist. And the best way to do that is just, you know, to pillage everything and effectively gather resources. Shark spawn in more or less the same spots. Cool. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. But I was kind of going back up a bit. I think there was some over here. Came out of the way. Very deep at the moment. Where's the damn sharks? Some extra oxygen. There's no point in going home if like there's there's not enough cargo in the box. We must maximize each dive. I'm gonna get some of these materials. The okay, actual ecology quest is underway. <laughs> sure. We've been needing that a while. No way, he's doing quests! I'm hoping it will lead to more sharks. You must understand. <laughs> Try it out in the next track. Perfect tool. I think the sharks are extinct now. They they really don't seem to be present anymore. <laughs> they might honestly be. Would it be a shark kill count? I people can probably go back through the footage at this point. And maybe piece some of that together. I don't know how many we've gotten this far in. I imagine it's quite high. Check the tapes. There's like no sharks today. Where they all go? There you are! Just looking for you. I'm in for a hug now. Hit him with the hammer. Only the ha oh, I forgot to try it. A bit late now. <laughs> Just bonk him and there's blood with like a squeaky hammer. <laughs> How hard is Dave swinging that? Ah, oh, here's another one. Great. This one's perfect because he weighs so much.
out of body experience. Okay, there we go. We get we got him that time. Have a quick look in here. Just in case it's ending the pillage. Please bonk the next shark you find. Try I, I, it was in fairness, it was a bit tricky on that one. Yeah, I'm doing my best though. Not taking this dark gun, the, the, like this gun anymore. This this one's so pointless. At the moment it needs upgrades. For my purposes, that are very much shark related. There's not much I can do with it. Maybe like a shark spawn in here. Looking pot. A stray bull. Okay, let's head on back. Okay, you are gonna get in the way. <laughs> That's gonna slow us down a little. You know? Take him along for the ride. Doesn't want to come. Come on. Come on. I'm shocked he's not dead. There's just no space. Okay. He really wanted to live. I mean, we can't even, like, pick him up. <laughs> You're a monster, Dave. Nebula, thank you for the gift sub earlier. He died for nothing. <laughs> Catch, kill, and release is what we do. Just swim back up. He died for our amusement. <laughs> You're a mean man, Dave. I don't think I can pick up anything else, yeah, because the symbol. Yeah, let's just let's just head on back. We got some supplies at least. Made the most of it. Release them to heaven. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, give us some eggs. Oh, not you. I'll, I'll just sell them. I'll sell them when they grow up. It's no good. Oh, yeah. This is going to be our most profitable night ever. So I want to make sure that I'm back to the restaurant on time. I don't want to dive tonight. Need to need to call Ellie as well. There was a humpback whale. Good, its cries have a listen. Hmm. Sounds like it's looking for its offspring. Offspring. They must be lost somewhere nearby. How about helping me? As you go on about, if you hear a young one's cries, can you let me know? You gotta save the whales. There's a baby whale lost. Oh no. An eco watcher. Research point thirty. Actually, did something. He's gonna eat this new meal idea. Oh no. How are we on Cooksta? Not there yet. Find the baby whale, catch the seahorses, the girl. 
Yeah, we can do that one tonight. Have enough for something? No. Tranquilize the triple axle. I have enough for the fire one, but I don't think I want the fire one. <laughs> Make flame rifles. Tranquilizer rifle might be good. I don't think I need those upgrades. I think I'm doing like well enough without that. Okay. Let's prep for our busiest night of the year. That's going to be our most profitable day. See people. It's hard to believe that's something I've only heard only I've only heard of in Legend is real. <laughs> Good beer in that area. I wouldn't mind trying some. I don't think there'll be drinks underwater. Oh. The IP appeared. Michael Bang the Master. This is the only place to eat. This is what I don't like about remote areas. This decrepit place can't possibly make sushi that will inspire me. I'll just have to fill my belly with what I can get. A rude customer, what do you want? I didn't choose myself. I'm the movie director Michael Bang. Okay. Go. Wait, didn't you direct Robot Samurai? Okay. It's like your eyes are functional. Yes, I'm the great action film director Michael mm -hmm. Bang. I believe he's talking like that about himself. Yeah. Film my new movie, The Stone, around these parts. I can't seem to get the ending scene right. Oh. I, I might find new inspiration with food that'll clear up my head. Oh, Doesn't seem likely I'll find anything here. I'm leaving. Oh, Wait. Robot Samurai was an amazing movie. I watched it multiple times and was moved every time. I can remember his explosions. <laughs> Making that such great movie for my food, I'm willing to cook for you. Can you pull it off? It high stands when it comes to sushi. The rice they use in these parts is terrible, by the way. So he's the best rice we can find in this region. Give me three days. I'll prepare your food that will make your head all but explode with inspiration. <laughs> We're going to kill him. Grab food that will inspire him. Rice that uses the Anim rice of this region. Pause me the ingredients limits when it comes to creating the best possible sushi. And listening into your conversation. If it's rice, I think I can come up with something. Give me just a day, I'll be in touch in the morning. Make sushi with three kinds of fish. Titan triggered fish, harlequin hen, and coral trout. Appreciate flourish, please don't be late. Yeah, Otto, Otto's got a plan. We'll check in with him later. I have that one. I have nothing else. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not surprised. It's because I've got all in on sharks. Okay, I need this to sell. Enhance it. Make it more powerful. Oh, I'm gonna get food ready to add to the menu once that sells out. 22 more. Oh my god. 51, it's just... <laughs> That's so much. But we also have so much saw shark meat. At what point is, like, is, it, is it enough? At what point is it enough? We must go further beyond. <laughs> Need 76 for level 10. Jesus. Okay. So I want to sell as much of this as possible. I think we're gonna get more than 10 customers, but we just start with that and we wait till it runs low. You can see what its stock is on in the menu there. 
Uh, Demi Witch, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I kind of want to take off this from the menu. <laughs> Once that's served, I want to just delete that. Okay. Let's go. Does time pause when I open the menu? Yeah, it does. Okay, get serving them. Get to it, gang. Okay, hang on. This is the story one. Let's get that in. There we go. <laughs> oh, God. I think he likes it. Actually cried. It's too good, you fuck. This is way too good. Damn, it's too good. Reminds me of my father. God, odd kid. My name is Mackie. I'm looking for my father. My father left to explore the depths. I can't get in touch with him anymore. His favorite food was kombu and white trevally uh, ojizuki. And I heard you sell it here. Thought he might have come by here. Pity, I'll be sure to tell you. He sees him, it looks like your father. What is that doll? This is a Clion plushie. My father gave it to me before he left. My favorite to ask is about the Clion. Never seen one in person. Could you catch one? Oh, I'm gonna get a net, and now I can use that for the seahorse as well. What you do in your walrus, get your tights on and jump in the water. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can I use the bug net to capture small creatures like seahorses and clown, which can't be caught with a harpoon. Cool. Okay, everyone, order a signature meal. Okay, they've all been prepped. We need something else on the menu now. And auto supply. Get serving them, get serving them! Today we make profit! <laughs> Come on! Keep it going. The money is flowing in. Okay, uh, menu! Okay, that, that is... Wait, wait, wait. That's off the menu. So we need to add this. We're just going to make him look at everything that's sold out, too. Pop it on. Oh no, the night's over. I didn't look at the time. I didn't look at the time. Oh, that was a waste. That was a bit of a waste. That's all right. Shark head gone. We'll, we'll recover. Oh, we're back in business. Like no, nothing even compares anymore. <laughs> we made so much money. Eight thousand gold, exponential growth. The profits only go up. Yeah, and Otto's got something for us now. Oh, Dave, have a good night's sleep. Dave, all night working on something. 
On the boat and come on over over next to the fish farm. I was about to wrap up there, but he's got something for me. What is this place? <laughs> Try some food at the restaurant. The sushi has Adam rice mixed in, doesn't it? It's the only rice we can manage to find around here. Pancho has got superb skills, but you won't meet that picky movie director stands with that kind of grain. <laughs> you stay here a bit longer anyway, I thought you might help me grow some white rice. <laughs> oh, we get a farm. <laughs> Hope you a little grow in the rice. It takes about a year in the real world to grow rice, but this is no rice farming game, is it? You'll be able to see results in two to three days! <laughs> I've injured my legs. I've got to pluck out the weeds and prevent insects from harming the crop. Yeah, it's very handy. We can get our own rice here. You know, it's come a long way to use a mobile app to check in on it. The app's called Farm Now. I'll update you on the status every morning through the app. <laughs> Onto a farm village in Thailand, a very hot day. I was resting in the shade and the white haired village chief came over. Right in the eyes and told me, enough. Cool your temper, as it happens I see some weeds over there. Go and pluck them. You now visit the farm. The farm is where you can grow and harvest various crops needed for cooking. I mean, that that's kind of sweet. Just gotta get weeds. Appreciate even the picky director will be satisfied with rice of this quality. Otto will grow rice for you in the farm. If you don't visit often, remove the weeds. The soil score, health score may drop, causing pests to appear. I think I could plant more stuff as well, but I need like some crop or something. I don't have it currently. <laughs> Our business empire expands. There's no industry we won't get into. We have fish. We have sushi. Enter in the rice market. The profits only go up. now add it okay we're gonna we're gonna leave it there for tonight I think uh, Uncle Karis thank you for the 300 bits have a good night freshman in high school now I'm in college for marine biology and working at a zoo happy to, happy to share my autistic shark swagger with chat and Dan this channel has got me through some tough times have a good night everyone all the best thanks for all the shark facts biology in general okay yeah we're gonna leave it there though I think that's just the best point to leave it um, this is really fun. The game is like keeps surprising me. Like it, there's just like new stuff being piled on, more and more mechanics. The visual novel section was a bit weird. I'll be honest. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I don't know how necessary that is, but it's cool. It's it's refreshing. You gotta appreciate it for that. Uh, thanks to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Thank you to mods ever being on hand. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be back on Saturday. I don't know when the start time is on Saturday. It's not going to be like 7 p.m. time in Ireland. Uh, it will not be that. I think it's going to be a bit of a different time slot. Because uh, I believe we're playing with games with a bit of a gang. But I have to double check the details on that. Earlier or later? I believe it'll be earlier. So just keep an eye on the Discord and I will post once I know. Uh, but it'll be on Saturday. Uh, we'll play this again probably on Sunday. And to find the Discord, uh, type Discord in chat, exclamation point, or check the About tab, or check the description of literally every video on the YouTube channel. It's there. It's out there. Prove it. <laughs> Is that even me? It's there. I don't know what to say. Uh, try on YouTube, I couldn't find it. Thanks. Eh, no worries. Like, if you're ever unsure of stuff like that, just check the description. It's all, like, always linked. Try and make sure of that. He has a MySpace. Oh, God. Okay, let me see you streaming. I'll leave you in someone's care for the night. Um... It's all going. Who is going? 
Uh, Joe is playing Lies of P. That game does look quite fun. Basically, not Bloodborne by like, like a dev that seems to kind of get the style of it. Very dark, like Souls-like game. Pinocchio did something bad. Uh, that game does look fun, though. I, I just want to play this the next while, though. <laughs> There's so many new releases. This one's not... I don't, I don't think this one's even new. I think it's got its full release, like, a few weeks back. I think. It was in early access for a bit. Might have been a few months. Yeah, it might have been. But anyway, I'll see you all over the weekend. Have a good night, gang. Take care.